Hey. Is it working now? My microphone wasn't working. <laughs> Hello. Dang it, microphone. Dang it, computer. I blame the Windows update. Thank you for petting Calico. I was trying. I explained a bit. Hello and welcome. I explained a bit. Uh, I didn't stream on Monday because I wasn't feeling well then. And I honestly don't know how well I am feeling now. So we don't. I don't know how long this stream will be. But it's okay if this is a shorter stream. Thank you for petting Calico. And yeah, Bowyer and Balom were in the first part. Last time we got to Moleville, this time we are in Moleville. Thank you for petting Calico. So let's see what's up in Moleville. It's an emergency! Dinah's trapped in the mines! Yep, that's true. Come on in, don't be shy. Everyone's up on the mountain, but I'm stuck mind in the store. So what you need? Isa, that's not this channel's funny point redeem, you silly person. First world trivia, though. First world is by Aya, and you can purchase Cursed World Initial Sparks on Amazon. And it's pretty good, I think. That's the trivia. Oh, right. The work pants. That are just straight up better for Gina than the cape? I mean, money seems to be overflowing in this version of Paper or Super Super Paper Mario. That's right. In this version of Mario RPG, no subtitle because they got rid of the subtitle. Oh, nice background over there. So why not buy everything? I guess. Though also, I feel like enemies do more damage in this version, so we'll see if buying... if work pants mode is a bad mode to be in, I guess. My mom and pa are helping out on the mountain. Good for them. Bowser sound. You know that? That's not dissimilar from the old Bowser noise. It is kind of close. It does feel like you should be able to climb on the houses. Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What will we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. I'm the biggest, baddest brute around, and don't you forget it. But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined. Even I have an image to keep up, you know? Let's show him who's the boss around here. And then Bowser is mysteriously gone forever. He was never seen again. It's a real tragedy. He fell off of a cliff or something. A pretty star crashed down into the mountain. I wanted to see it, but my ma told me it was too dangerous. Ma said she'd go and find out what's happening, but she's sure taken her sweet time. I've only just now processed that all of the children moles in Moleville are wearing giant bows. Which, according to cartoon gender portrayals, would indicate that they've only had daughters in this town. But perhaps the moles do not care for... Maybe the moles have killed gender and bows are just a thing that children like to wear. Who can say? I knew it was bad news when that star fell on the mountain. Sure enough, it's causing trouble. The men folk are doing their best from the inside. I'm digging in from the outside. We gotta help them folks out. On the Super Nintendo version, I always had the impression that the moles were trying to dig with their noses. 
which made sense to me because they are very pointy and drill-like. What do you mean I'm cute? What's that got to do with anything? Oh dear, I sure hope the kids are okay. I know how you're feeling, but moping around here ain't gonna help a thing. Oh, my voices? That's fair, I guess. Well, I'm glad you think so. Okay, bye. I know what I said, but I don't think I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See that out there? That's the old entrance to the mines. But we can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow uh, Mario were here. He could reach that in a heartbeat. Well, well, speak of the devil. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle. If it ain't him in the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver. Nod. Mario, have you heard the news? Sure have. Mario, will you help rescue them? No. <laughs> of course. I like how Mario is allowed to be extremely rude. And this is like the only time that that ever happened. Probably. Thanks, Mario. Or oh, there's the entrance up there. Here, hop up on our shoulders. I did it. I do, I do still have the signal ring. I don't have a third accessory yet, okay. I could go get one if I wanted to. Or I could give Mario the jump shoes and then redistribute the true form pin to Gino, actually. That makes more sense. Let's learn about, oh, they have little faces. Whoops. I didn't know they had funny little faces. On the Super Nintendo, they just look like rocks with feet. All right, it's time to learn about everyone's thoughts. Because they're different. I stepped on a sharp rock the other day and got hurt. Ooh, but still smarts. Ow. Ow. Timing is difficult for me. Right, the punch glove. I forgot I bought new equipment just now. There we go. The timing might be slightly different. Oh no, it's Yoshi time. Where's Yoshi? I wonder if it's random. No, that's actually where that egg was. I wonder if this is no longer just random and the animation means nothing. Because that's actually where the Yoshi egg went. Wow, I doubled my coins from two to four. Yay. Yeah, I understand that you weren't impressed but this is like one of my favorite games ever so <laughs> that's the kind of thing that growing up with the game will do let's learn what bob -oms are thinking about also it, i do think that this remake is really good so far and like, look at all the funny, you can see all the funny little guys way better. Watch out, I'm gonna explode. It'll hurt. We'll see about that. Ooh. Ah, it did hurt. Wow. I never would have guessed. Didn't I already, I think I already scanned a lava bubble. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Let's see if Yoshi's still actually a cup game. Yes, this is real now. This is no longer RNG. That's funny. Unless, unless that was entirely coincidental. Actually, there were monsters I didn't look at in the bestiary, the bestiary. Ah, I see. That's fair. Yeah, we did look at the lava bubble. 
I love the bestiary monster list thing in its descriptions. They're on fire, but do they get hot or burned? No matter what you ask them, they just keep burning away. What goes on in their little minds? Well, it's Crackle Hiss, we know that. We know this. They face upward and snap their jaws threateningly before biting. They haven't realized that this telegraphs their attacks for action commands. <laughs> I love the the fourth wall breaking and stuff too. I just really like this remake. Children eventually become parents, carried and thrown by their own young. Thus are the Magmite's ways passed from generation to generation. Careless detonations can lead to cave -ins. so if the miners of Moville see one of these around the mines, they leave the area immediately. That's fair. So, one thing I thought about with the monster list after the last stream is that, whoops, some of the, oh, oh god, seeing these things up close is really good. These enemies were always like, whoa, they're splitting into little weird little guys, and it's weird, but now you can see they all have the funny little eyeballs and they're like cat planet heads. Fantastic. I love it. I missed. I feel like I've gotten worse at the timing in this game. They're like little cat planet pig heads. Ouch. Why am I so bad at timing? Factory, factory, oh man, factory, factory, oh man, cat, planet, cat, planet, cat, planet, cat. Calico is also broken, I see. I don't remember how to fix that. God dang it. I have to literally look up a tutorial to make Calico talk correctly because I don't remember it. It was a very specific YouTube video tutorial, I think. Unless. Uh, settings, maybe. Modules. I th Was that what I had it set to before? I think it was. Now it just outright didn't read that. Uh, I hate technology. Sometimes I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have let Windows update. I shouldn't have let Windows update. I shouldn't have let Windows update. I'm dying. Unless. Apply? Ah. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. It's fine. Ah. Sometimes I like to open my settings page, then lie down on the keyboard. That's probably true. Group up! Don't break ranks! Looking at you, left ear, you're drooping. I like how... I, something I've also just noticed is that Gino actually aims upward if he needs to. Which was not a detail found in the original. I am I need to get the symbol timing. Ow, I need to get all of the timing correct. Instead of none of it. You can block that? Huh. There we go. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know if the timing is more difficult or if there's something different about how this controller works. Or if I am just not good at timing as much or what. You know, money is more prevalent in this version of the game, and damage is more prevalent in this version of the game. 
and the inventory is less clogged in this version of the game. And I think all of these factors tie in together to the idea that I'm supposed to buy more recovery items than I am. Maybe. That's a thought to consider. Mario. Mario, wake up. Mario, we've got completely unrelated things to what I'm actually doing to do because I just had a thought. Two thoughts, in fact. First of all... You can carry a limited amount of each item in exchange for the inventory being more or less limiting. Okay, first thought, I want to check something. Because I don't remember when this happens. It might just be like now even. Nope. I don't know when anyone shows up in this room, but I know somebody does. Maybe two people even. I can't help it. Anyway, uh, second thing. I need to I need to Google and look at a chart. Give me the chart. Thank you for the chart video game website game FAQs. Because there's something I can do. Which now that I realize that, you know, healing might be more relevant than usual. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in into Microsoft Paint, and I'm going to rotate this chart that you don't know what I'm talking about 90 degrees so that I can process the dang layout of these notes that I can't comprehend on my own. Uh, you need to. Where do you need to be? I only sort of understand this. I think that's right. You need to be at the very, the very highest one. Or the middle. So which is, that's the highest you go. I think that's right. It is. That's it! This is the melody I've been looking for! Thank you for the inspiration! Please take this as a token of my gratitude. The Alto card. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. I'm not great at reading musical notation. Even though I played in a music type environment. Okay, we can't do the next one yet. I didn't think so, but even though I played a musical instrument during my time in the education system, I was never great at reading the notes. Can't wait to graduate from music school and start composing. An also card holder, what would you like? Frog leg cola. Party recovers 80 HP. Party recovers 30 HP. I wish I had composing ability, because I would like to be able to compose my own video game music, but I mean I've made some weird ambient stuff that's pretty cool, maybe. But like I don't know, I need to try that more. That's less, that involves less reading notation and more just trying to remember what's in my brain and translate it to things by clicking arbitrarily until it connects. 
It's not the most efficient uh, way to do anything. All, how much HP do I even have? Yeah, all right. Meow. True. I'm gonna buy the small heal for everybody. I wonder if they adjusted like character balance at all in this remake. Because I always hear about how Bowser's kind of butt. Bowser's not great in this game. Spoilers, you get Bowser in your party. Wow. And like, Peach was always invaluable. Spoilers, you get Peach in your party because of her healing abilities. I was thinking about the bonus bosses that are going to be after this, allegedly. Hey, have you heard? There's rare items hidden in the mines. If I find any, I'm going to sell them to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. Oh, it does say no spoilers in my title. Crap, I've got to ban myself from the internet. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. I've been destroyed. This is the ghost of a ghost haunting the stream now. Oops, I remanifested into the world. Don't worry about it. Also, hello and welcome. I think I'm trying to time most things too early. All right, double my experience from four to eight. I, I can't get over how Where's Yoshi is an actual real shell game now and not just a random number generator prank. Where you can never know for sure where Yoshi actually is at. I can't believe it's real. That's that's the funniest change they could have made. Let's see if I can figure out how to navigate this mines. Mario, you come to help us out? One problem, though. This is a dead end. We need a bomb to blast through here. Think you could find one? Okay, the actual funny, the other funniest changes that they can make are enemy names and translation things, for the record. Apparently, I've decided not to fight every enemy in the mines. I don't know why. This is counter to my usual strategies. There is a funny spring that you can uh, prank yourself with mandatorily. Yeah, Mario, get headache. Concussion, perhaps. Mario, die. Coins, beautiful coins. Grab the grab the coins. Listen up. Let's leave this half with Mario here and split. Anyone got a beef with that? A beef with that? A beef with that? Hey, I got a beef. Mario, Croco got us again! He took our coins too. Let's chase him down and get them back. Joke's on you, I spent all of my money. You, you've been the pranked one. Oh boy, looks like a dead end here, but not to worry. Hey, hey, I've got a bomb. Never leave home without him. Mario is surprised by the effects of an explosive. Because of course he is. <laughs> Mario just casually walking through the door after that. Hey! This is why the mines are a loop. It's because Croco is going to prank you. Croco! Hey. You wanna do you wanna you wanna see my cool triple tech that I unlocked last time, Croco, immediately? <laughs> Would you like to be blasted? I should have used Mallow for that, like strategically speaking, most likely. Alright, let's mess up special dump timing.
Nine. That's not bad. All right, we got to do this. What's he thinking about today? Oh, I'm good. Yeah, you say that, but also, uh... Oh no, I actually messed up Geno Beam. There's a first time for everything. Ow. Oh no, my yellow orb. I was going to use that for... Uh, something. You want him back? You gotta take me down first. Oh right, that's the items. Right, right, right. Croco steals all your items. That's the gimmick. In the original, I think that sprite had a question mark on it, but now it was just a yellow orb. I'm not good at timing, by the way. <laughs> Mallow is so excited to be here. Ow. I don't know why I said ow when I missed the timing. Monster toss! <laughs> Oh, I... wait. Why does that say it costs 3 out of 24? Oh, 3 out of... Okay, the cost shows cost out of current flower points, and then the flower points shows current out of total. I was mildly befuddled by that. There we go. The animation sound is actually different if you get that correct. I will never get more than nine hits, apparently. I will never time that correctly, apparently. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I will learn super jump timing by force. It was not that. Ouch, enough already. Here's your junk. I tried to block it, just in case. I'm out of here! I could have talked to the crook behind the spring for something, too. Got the coins back and picked up a micro bomb too! Wow. I needed a bomb, so that's very convenient. Thanks, Croco. Now I just have to remember how to get to where I needed the bomb. I think it was over here, probably. I don't know why I'm avoiding every encounter this time. You found a bomb! Now we'll bust through in no time! Alrighty, stand back! Let's follow the tracks to the end. What? The star? It's probably in the back. Let's mosey along now. Oh, guess you're right. I'd just be a burden on you, fellas. Well, then I'm counting on you to find the kids here. Nod. Well, thanks a lot, Mario. Guess I'll be going back to tell Ma about everything. I just instinctively say nod when a character nods now because of Final Fantasy XIV and how I did that in that game. But normal things have never happened in Super Mario's RPG. That's impossible. Oop. Oop, I fell immediately. <laughs> Immediate failure of objective. I also forgot about this shy guy. Well, that was the most useful, least useful star that's ever existed. Oh, I, the Bob, I'm just sort of like sadly rolling over and exploding pitifully is kind of depressing in a way. I'm I was supposed to defeat all of you. Oh, geez. Mm, that's concerning. Yeah, that is a fairly relatable animation, I suppose. Mallow got hit by an explosion. I don't actually know how much experience points is needed per level now that I think about it. You can probably check out that information on the... I was going to say on the website. 35. Super Mario's famous website that he has. 
That's too many bombs, in my opinion. Nobody can do AoE on demand except for Mallow. Ow. There we go. That's true. I've heard of this predicament. There we go. Got them falling into a pile of pig cats is... Dang it, now I'm thinking about Meteos again. This always happens. I, I, I don't know why they don't let you just use the recovery items from that menu too, even though it's a worse idea for efficiency. Because I'm going to keep trying to use items from the regular item menu by mistake. It's just inevitable. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Oop. And for some reason, I thought it would default to no, but it did not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Gotta make sure to save the acquisition of that one flower point, which is vital to our strategy. Clearly. Well, time for Punchinello in HD. Or not. I forgot about that. Uh, hey, forgot about that that characteristic of Punchinello. Good day. The name's Punchinello, bomb maker extraordinaire. Punchinello, never heard of you. They say I'm a hothead, but I'll show them. You, you will make me famous. So long! So Punchinello is still Punchinello. Punchinello, an original translation idea for Punchinello, I believe, was James Bomb, which was forbidden by the lawyers of Nintendo or something. Because they are cowards. Um... Hey, I got 11. So chic! Everyone is so chic! Bum. 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 I guess we have to scan the micro bombs too, huh? What are you thinking about, small bomb? I may be small, but I'm big inside! I will keep trying super jump forever. I did better closing my eyes and trying to base it on the sound effects. Just like Animal Crossing fishing, I think. Anyway. <laughs> I've heard of that as something some people do for Animal Crossing fishing, if I remember correctly. Not bad, not bad! Now let's level things up! Mario's soup RPG. Mario's at soup. Hello and welcome. Uh, I messed it up immediately trying to do the same thing. 
It's fine. Uh, all right, you asked for it. I believe these didn't animate in the old video game. They were simply too large to animate. Got a freebie. Mezzo bomb. Now these are missable enemy thought beaks. So I wonder if you can get these in some other way. Weakness, everything. I am ready to explode. You're standing too close to be safe. That's not my fault. That's the limitation of the... Ah, Mallow die. Mallow die forever. I do have a pick-me-up. Mallow die temporarily. Mallow's pants are so shiny. I didn't notice that until he died. Yeah, Punchinello is a, is a standout design. For sure. In, in terms of like, this game has an interesting design, right. You, you do a prank. If I remember correctly... Well, I'll get to that when I get to that. Ouch! I'm so... I'm... I'm not... I'm surprised that I'm messing up the timing as much as I am. A bomb bag? Mm, maybe. This is probably... Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you can still attack Punchinella. What am I doing? I didn't time that. Why am I doing this? What is the... I forget what summoning Yoshi even does. Yeah, Punchinello has nothing to do with anything, really. Ah! I must be dreaming! I'm ruined! I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice! I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy! I'm not gonna waste this on you! Who knows what might happen? Take your best shot! Enough! I've got my pride! Now you're in for it! Huh? What the hey? Why isn't it working? Ah! Mario! If this thing explodes, we're history! This is a fine mess. Let's scram now! Eh! It's gonna blow! No! And then Mario died. Just kidding. It's only comedy explosion. What on earth was that? Well, we won the battle. Now I hope we don't lose the war. We're a dynamite in the star. I guess that part of it's been answered. Come on, Mario, hurry! So... Maybe it's not... The Punchinello fight? Or it might be a specific... It was a specific fight. It might be related to the Mario RPG randomizer specifically. Where there is a bug that you can choose to... fix in the randomizer settings. Where like, if you block something that's supposed to kill you, the game didn't have programming for that. 
So just the, the fight stops, like the enemy stops doing anything. I thought that was Punchinello, but you don't actually fight the giant bomb, so I don't know. Come on, we still have a way to find... Di we still have to find Dinah and Might. My... Ah, uh, this won't budge. I hate this stupid thing. Help me here. Give the minecart a push. <laughs> Just plop them in there. Of course, I'll read it. Minecart guidelines. Press A to break. Press B to jump. Get mushrooms and press X to accelerate. Mobile safety board. Yeah, minecart ride. Yippee, this is gonna be fun. Oh, right, that's the break. <laughs> Mario dying. Oh. <laughs> God, there's a speedometer now. Another funny thing I learned about the original Mario RPG is that if you sit there and do nothing for this entire segment, in the original it takes like a few minutes at most. Also, this segment looked way worse than the original, as you might expect. It was it was mode seven. And uh, it was some rough mode seven that had a charm to it, of course. doing I don't know how to turn corners well in this shenanigans ridden location I've chosen poorly this is probably not it also you couldn't see Dinah and might in and might in the cart originally course. This feels really slow. And it is. Which is why it feels that way. I think this is new. I don't think this hill existed in the original. And the fireworks are, I think, new. I wonder how those kids are doing. Mind chart. True. Sure wish they'd hurry home. Hold your horses, Ma. I asked Mario to help us out, so I reckon I'll bring him back when he's good and ready. I just have this odd feeling that they'll be dropping in on us any minute now. You still gotta use the door like everyone else, Ma. Now settle down! We're home! Gracious, they really did drop in on us. My poor babies, are you okay? Oh, Might, are you hurt? 
Nah, we're okay, Ma. Isn't that right, Mike? We had fun. Mama, Papa. He's been knocked senseless. You poor baby. You're safe now. Dinah, haven't I told you often enough to never go into the mines by yourself? That's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have him back. We haven't think Mario proper either. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, Mario, we can't thank you enough for everything. What's that? The roof, you say? Ah, that don't matter none, right, Pa? Ain't nothing at all. You just leave any repairs to me. Give me a holler if you ever need a hand with your place. Thanks again for bringing our babies back to us. You found Dinah, Might, and a star piece. But where is Peach? Why would Peach be in the mines? If you need anything, don't be no stranger now. I'll be heading back to the mountain after fixing the roof. But you come back and see us again, you hear? That trolley ride was fun. Can we go again? I reckon Dinah's taken a liking to you, Mario. Moleville is a... Finally, an excuse to do more southern accent type things. Sniffster number one. Come back, Mr. Beetle. Don't you want to come to Boosters and play? Yeah, don't run away. We just want to play. We'll take good care of you. S uh, like what they said. Okay, Mr. Beetle? Just a regular, like, photorealistic beetle. No, you dare touch that beetle! It's a prison for Booster! That's right, just hand it over nice and easy. Look at the texture detail on their sniffetry that they've got. That's what I'm calling their outfits now, apparently. Uh, yeah, like they said, or we won't be your friend. Booster really, really, really likes beetles, but he can't catch his own. That's right, he's busy keeping the princess from the sky entertained. So we're catching beetles for him. So hand it over! That's right. Uh, pretty please? This- that does seem like a fairly Cromarty element. Oh no, it's getting away! Quick, catch it! Catch it! I assume that they're Sniffsters because it's some sort of brand- it's some sort of, like, job title combined with Sniff It. Welcome to my Pur 10 store. Would you like a shiny stone? If you bring me fireworks, then I'll give you a shiny stone. I don't remember where the fireworks are at, but that's later, I think. Me, a name I call myself. Tea, a drink of jam and bread. Oops, that's not really how it goes. I'm just bored, but if you go to the mountain, they'll sing you the real song. I knew everything was going to be all right when you showed up. Thank goodness those kids are safe. Good luck finding that princess of yours soon, too. You heard? There's a rumor that Booster's new girlfriend fell from the sky. She's supposed to be pretty, too, just like a princess. Now, who would have thought a girl could fall out of the sky? Maybe it's Princess Peach. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I love to give children fireworks because they allow me to fight the super boss later. I don't re I don't- I've never bothered with the songs before. So I don't actually know where the people who sing the song are in the mines, if that's a thing. Well, we've still got this music over here for whatever reason. Whoa. They're still fighting over here. Are they, like, all the way in the back? Probably not, right? Okay, I am at full health and all that. Oh, they're mining dungeon music. That makes sense. Oh, we didn't see Cluster before. I forgot about that enemy being here, and we missed them. Oops. Dang it, I'm so bad at the timing now for some reason. 
I don't know why. I don't know why this has happened. Attack with magic and I'll psych you out! Mallow died again. I'm getting obliterated. There we go. Finally. Dang it! <laughs> Is there some sort of input delay that I'm dealing with? I can't even tell. Doesn't matter! Get destroyed! <laughs> You're not destroyed yet. There you go. I don't think I was great with defense timing before in the times of olds. Okay, this is just here again. Yeah, there are some fantastic enemy designs in Mario RPG. I may not have been great at the uh, defense timing in Days of Old, but I think it's way more noticeable with the chain system being something I can, like, fail, you know? So where's the people who sing the funny song to get me a card? This is just where I was, right? Yeah. They're probably just like at the entrance or something and I just missed them. Maybe they're like above the mines and not actually in the mines. Or maybe they're not, I don't know. This hole my wife dug is a shortcut to the trolley. It's an amusement ride and I named it Moleville Mountain. Ain't that nifty? Drop in here and you'll be right on the, at the trolley tracks. It'll cost you 10 coins. Nope. Be that way. I will. The record at Moleville Mountain stands at two minutes, 53 seconds. When you're tired, just go to the inn and rest. Yeah, I don't remember how you obtained the mole song. Because I didn't pay attention to that part of the game before. Check out Booster's Tower! It's filled with neat stuff! Ma's off gossiping again. She's been gone for hours. You like fireworks? I'm working on my very own invention right now. I've only got the sparklers down, but I ain't giving up. Wanna buy one for 500 coins? I don't have that kind of money. I have a similar kind of money, almost. Okay, so you can actually get the shiny stone right now if you want, I think. I'm so hungry, sure wish I had a carbo cookie. 
Don't remember what that's about. Hey there, remember me from the mines? I found some neat stuff and I'm opening up a miner's store. Come and take a look at what I've got to sell. Item number one, a lucky jewel. It's sure to bring you plenty of good luck. Sure, why not? Nice doing business with you. Here you go. That's all I've got for now. I think that prompts the lucky Yoshi wheel of fortune. You can't get inside Booster's Tower very easily. You'll need a really strong person for that. You're a hero, Mario. If it weren't for you, Dinah would still be inside that mountain. Also, there's no hidden items in all of Moleville, apparently, because I still have the signal ring on. I think I can... Oh, there's like a, the 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 minecart is on the map. I might be able to do the mole song anyway, without having necessarily found it. Is Todovsky here? Yes. You want a music lesson from moi? No. Well, be that way. That's it! This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as token of my gratitude. As a token, probably. So you can just do that once you've completed the required thing. And the third one is after Monstro Town, or once we get to Monstro Town, which is later. Got it. Finless Cola. I think some of those drinks were just Elixir and Mega Elixir before, judging by this image. Booster Pass. There's a hidden treasure. But also... There's some monsters to look at in the monster list. I missed one somewhere. You'd think that they get along since they always act as a team, but word is that on their off days, they do their own thing and barely even talk. Oh no. Some think that Cluster's crystal body is armor to guard the, the true form from magic. Insiders must be well protected. Oh yeah, I forgot about the little guy. Before he knew it, the three fledgling thieves he met on Roseway looked to him as a leader. They've since had many successful escapes as a gang. Punchinello created these bombs by studying bob -omb's. Due to their smaller size, they're also less powerful than a true bob -omb. So Punchinello created these. Punchinello left home to accomplish something big. This outsized bomb was one stab at making that dream come true. As a result of throwing bombs willy-nilly to become a famous bomb maker, he faced Exploder's Remorse and flamed out early. <laughs> I'm sorry? Exploder's Remorse? Is this a known thing 
Presumably. Um, did I get a fire box I didn't use? No. There's a hidden treasure nearby. Heck, if I remember anything about where it is. Karaboskis! One of my favorite enemies from this game due to being an outstanding example of Mario RPG is weird. Once again! Once again! Mario continues to destroy. I didn't want to destroy all of these individuals because I wanted to scan them. But that's fine. There will be more opportunities for knowledge. Mario is gaining in magical power. Hey, I forget if you can jump into Lakitu right now or not. I love you too. Once again. Nah. Look, I need to learn about... I need to learn about things. Before destroying them. Don't be picky, eat your veggies, kids! What do you think about? Whoa, this guy's scared of me! Ouch. Oh, I forgot. That was Fungus Spike. I didn't even notice. Once again. Once again. It occurs to me that this might be a deliberate way to help you grind for experience points. Except when it doesn't happen. Oh, you're a special enemy. You took one damage from that. That's a great question, and I have no idea. So special enemies apparently have some unique characteristics instead of just being enemy but generically stronger. That drink had three straws in it because it was a full party heal. That's cute. Special characteristics like I have to use my laser beam. I feel like I can- I could jump at Lakitu if the angle were right. But I am having a difficult time gauging where Lakitu is in space. Oh, that's a single enemy attack. Right.
I don't need to spend all all of time fighting these because this is more important. The artichoker. I love the artichoker as well. Especially because they are not dissimilar from the Lego bushes of old. Relax a little. Have a veggie or two. Have some static electricity. Famous attack of vegetables. Ah. I, I don't remember if you can jump into the Lakitu at this point in time or not. Hmm. I mean, if there were a fish that was like a sea artichoke or something... I mean... When you put it that way, the artichoker kind of resembles, like, how a clownfish will hide in an anemone. So, like, there's kind of a static electricity connection there. With what anemones do. So, like, in a very specific kind of way, it actually does make sense. Maybe. Isn't one of these, like, a funny button? Maybe. Monster list agent, three frog coins per write up. My business is to fill in unseen thought peak info in the monster list. It'll cost you three frog coins per entry. Oh, now you know. Now we know. First time customers are eligible for a freebie. I'll fill in the entries for monsters you fought before Mallow joined your team. Got four Thought Peak entries. That's fun. There's nothing you need from me right now. You've got the Thought Peak info from every available entry in the monster list. I wonder if there's a reward for getting all of it, if this is a system. But yeah, that, that's fun. That's a new addition. Apparently, the spikies living in Booster Pass turned green from the health drinks they subsist on, which are made from fresh grass. Sure, why not? It's a little known fact that these came first and that the vegetables were named for their resemblance to the deadly monster. Sure, why not? Again. They know they should get more veggies in their diet, but they're picky eaters, so they mostly just go for carrots. So they are what they eat. In a way. Now, what, what are you thinking about? Sup, I'm a terrapin. I wish my gramps could see me now. What are you thinking about? Mario, it is on! Two coins an hour isn't payment enough for this kind of work. Bowser, give your employees a raise. Don't be like that. Come on now. Goom de goom. That Goomba's tired. What a nice peaceful day. Right, we looked at that one. I think I... I think the, the Bowser Castle ones are like the only ones I... Well, Hammer Bro. Think you know what my hammer can do? Think again, pal! I think those are all of the uh, Thought Peaks. There were just four of them. I'm guessing the one missing entry is probably Lakitu, because I probably could jump into Lakitu. But I was having trouble identifying three-dimensional space in an isometric perspective, so I didn't. Anyway. The booster is such a nice place. I miss my fortress. I miss the good old days. Peach screaming in terror. Mario rushing in to save her. Oh, jeez, it's Mario! Uh, oops, uh, okay, okay. Uh, calm down. Don't let him see you like this. Uh, hey, how have you been? No, not like that, dummy. Wrong tone. It needs more confidence. Uh, you, what are you doing here? If Peach were at my castle waiting to be rescued, she'd be crying like a baby. Apparently, this is my Bowser voice. This is what Bowser sounds like to me. Meanwhile. Oh? Did I just hear some voices? It couldn't be. 
can't believe it. It's Mario. Mario! I'm up here. That voice, it's Peach. I thought she got away, but she's been stuck here. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be returning to my castle now. Out of my way, shorty. Well, okay then. It's locked. What's the matter? The door's not opening or something? <laughs> Booster peeking in through the door. This is a cutscene now. <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Yeah, I'm a piece of work, ain't I? Oh, hold up. We got ourselves away inside now, huh? All this power and looks too. I know, I know. You're thinking a big strong guy like him would be great to have along, right? I'm gonna do something I may regret later. My Bowser voice is changing. I'll let you join my minions. You were, you used to say Koopa Troop here, but now Bowser's Minions is a marketable sub game of Mario and Luigi the remake. So he has to say this instead. Bowser is just doing some self-promotion. It's fine. You can thank me later. Mario and his friends have joined Bowser's minions, or so they're pretending. Bowser joins the group. Would you like an explanation on how to switch allies? Sure, why not? Maybe it's different. He's too big for the portrait. Now you are four, but fighting is limited to three. Access party now. These three will fight while their pals rest. Simply choose the two you wish to switch. Mario must always fight, though. When you succeed at several action commands in a row, you'll get an ally buff. The buff is different for each ally in the battle. Only the bonus for active party members will be in effect. Try it out with other party members to see what you get. Well, we did get an explanation for that. So Bowser gives you Clown Car Barrage. Attack all enemies with fire, ice, and lightning. Bowser finishes it off. So Mallow is mandatory because thought peaks are like saved now. So I guess Gino has to sit out. Funny Turtle King acquired. True. Booster Music Remix. Oh, that's like a switchboard. That's what that is. And a Final Fantasy VI Magitek armor also. So the Magitek armor still gets to be here. <laughs> Hello there. Booster's busy right now, so he can't play. Come back some other time, or you can try to force your way in. Bowser immediately regretting his decisions because he's very sad and got hit with a funny bubble. What are you thinking about? I'm not paid enough for this. Oops. Bowser got missed by that. Why did I not even try that time? What is my brain doing with these timings? What am I doing? Help. The Bowser victory animation is different now too. So, right, you can't use items from this menu. Oh boy, time for a lot of funky guys. See, we have regular snippets here too. Snifters, snifsters are the special forces of them. Let's see Clown Car Barrage. We'll have plenty of time for a... Uh... We'll have plenty of time for scanning. 
Wow. The Dolox burned up. There's a special thing that happens when you use fire on those? That's been a thing? Bowser dance time! There he goes! He's going! <laughs> yeah, stomping and clomping. That's right. Geno boost! Well, now Geno's broken, if that's still really good. So that's fun. Hey, you. What's a Snippet thinking about? Do you smell something? Oh, I get it, because you're Snippet. Oh, I hope they don't explain Shredder. Terrorize, scare him good! Do you think Bowser's magic is still garbage? That's actually not bad. Eerie jig. Ah! I actually had the true form pin before, so we didn't see the HD Scarecrow until just now. So that's like a rope tied into a knot and not a scarf. That's right. It's the Scarecrow Funk. The world's famous... Uh, feline. I'm a feline, she says all the time. Wait, why are you... why are you... oh, because you're feared, right. I didn't realize that that actually inflicted fear. Bowser's funny, uh, ghost, that is. What are you thinking about? It's a cold, cruel world. Everyone has their strings to pull. I see. The poof when an enemy, or when an ally turns back into... Oh, there's, there's like way more to this song now. There's like extra string parts and everything. Wow, this is really good. Mario's stomping all over the switchboard. Booster the first. Booster the second. Booster the third. Sniff it. Oh, you have... I... Zero, huh? I didn't... I feel like they've adjusted stats in this game to make enemies more threatening and, like, unique. But maybe I'm imagining things. I don't remember an enemy taking zero from an elemental attack before. Booster the fourth. Booster the fifth. Booster the sixth. This is important. I'm going to forget it. There's hidden treasure. I missed one in the pass already, so like... Eh... Oh god, what's the booster voice? What's the big rush? No. Is it Hotel Mario? It's Hotel Mario. That's the booster voice. That's perfect, actually. I'm Booster, and this is my famous Tower of Amusement. Normally, I welcome visitors to play with me and my Sniffsters. However, a girl fell out of the sky and into my lap recently. Since then, I've been busy keeping her happy and entertained. I no longer have the time to play, so please enjoy yourself. At your own risk, that is. Ah! There he goes. And now this song, HD. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Please refrain from bothering Booster.
Oh, there's nothing over here. Ah, but there is a flower tag over here. God. Uh, I knew the remix of this song was going to be great. But I didn't know exactly in what way. Booster's fun, yeah. Rabom, everyone's favorite. Everyone knows Rabom. My ultimate destiny is nothingness. Might as well go out with a bang. What the heck? Rob? Rob! Why are you such a nihilist in a Mario setting? That's very funny. Tutorial. Oh, they, they gave these physics for no reason? They gave these goofy physics just for funsies? That's fantastic. Thank you for that. Oh boy. Time for... Nope. Nope. Time to fail that jump about seven times. Yeah, those are... Yeah, exactly. Oop. All right, who's ready to fail it again? Yeah, I don't. I think I maybe I just need to walk off that ledge. I don't remember where the hidden treasure is. I maybe never knew. Whoops. Rob. There we go. Found a masher. Mario dying. Makes monster mash. Let's take this time to look at some new monsters that we've learned about. They seem to have no interest in becoming Snipsters, and are content to remain Sniffits forever. They look like magic staves, but they have cutting-edge features such as the ability to stretch or shrink themselves at will. Those who distinguish themselves are promoted to Snipsters. Scuttlebutt is that whoever defeats the intruder in the tower will get the nod. That is true, you can... You can you can see a snippet be promoted if you die repeatedly to them on purpose. They look like marionettes, but who then are the puppeteers and where are they hiding themselves? I'm so curious that it keeps me up at night. They seem to be more powerful than the standard ones, but their appearance and behavior hasn't changed much. I wonder who's narrating the be the the monster list if there's a first person perspective entry. Imagine if Mario is the one writing all of those in, in universe. Oh, I think I started to mention it earlier, but I failed to complete the thought that the monster list entries kind of have like a Undertale or Deltarune writing vibe to them a little bit to me. I messed up. I was expecting the, the timing from the other item. Maybe. Congratulations on your defense bonus, Bowser. That's so good, the cloth physics. What was that loud noise outside? Check out Booster's Pass. I honestly forget what that does. Yeah! Oh god, they the lighting works on the sprite?
I'm glad that's still there. Of course it's still there. Why would they remove it? But I'm glad it's there. I should fight more enemies. Because I didn't scan Orb User yet. Oh, Orb User has no health. Wow, okay. That's a detail I didn't remember. I deliberately failed that timing. Go away, Chain Chomps! I'm not playing fetch with you! Okay. That's fair. Oh yeah, you're a healer. Not anymore, you're not. I don't think these are enemy. They are enemies. Never mind. Blaster. What's the gun thinking? Blast first, ask questions later. Oh, we should swap in Geno to see the Bowser Mario Geno triple move too. At some point. But I want to be able to scan everything. Without paying frog coin. Ouch. That's Mario's entire Mario that you just hit with that explosion. Don't do that, that's rude. Actually, are you a sniffster? Uh, nice weather we're having. <laughs> I guess if you... You wanna fight? That's funny. Dang it. I'm so bad at timing the symbols specifically. What? That's re a really difficult one to avoid. Oh yeah, I forgot to I forgot to even like think about that. The masher does have a big damage variance thing. Nod. His nodding is good. Yeah, alright. Bowser can have more an attack. As a treat or whatever they say. Take a look at Booster's family portraits. In order from the oldest to the youngest. So I've already forgotten everything. But it won't cost me much to have forgotten anything, I think. I don't remember if there was just an instruction there before. I truly do. I think it starts at the far end instead of the closer end. Probably.
I'm just trying to go off a vague memory of seeing someone do this recently in the order that they're pressed in. But it's not working out. over here again. Oh, that's... This is her optional bonus stuff, right? Nope. I think I probably used to, like, know this by heart. Or have an easier time remembering details. Nope, that's the last one. Got it. Once again! There we go. The Elder Key. They gaze into each other's eyes. Mario, she's a bit shy. Look the other way, will you? You can turn around now. She says she's been locked up ever since she took a bite out of Booster. So now... She wants to help us stir up a little trouble. <laughs> Got a chain chomp. Giving Bowser a chain chomp as a weapon is a smart idea that they had. The extreme pan is also pretty good. Time to mess up the chain chomp. Chain chomp timing a thousand times also. Oh no, wait, there's a... There's a thing here. Good. Mallow continues to happen. Oh, it's right when you throw. It's not when the chomp collides with someone. I forgot. I really did forget a lot about this game, huh? We have a hundred star power. Or gauge. Shooting star shot. Shooting stars rain on foes from the sky while boosting allies. <laughs> Sniff it, master of dodging. Is that just a free Geno boost on everybody? That's whack. So these all have like different utility than... I mean like we knew that from the second we tried Clown Car Barrage. But it's interesting. Yep, this room. Wait, I needed to scan you. Lava Blubble? 
I forget what they were called before, but that's a funny way to do that. Oh, right. You die instantly. I feel like this is more generous than it was by a million degrees. Like... This was so much more difficult to do the jumping with before. Fail! On purpose, so that I can scan. What are you thinking about? Blurb, blurb, blurb. I'll do it. Yeah, they still have the they still have the Oh, did you miss it earlier when that was popping up? They do still have the Yoshi mini game, but it's an actual shell game that's real and not random. So if you actually watch the Yoshi egg, correctly you will choose it correctly every time it's weird it's so weird those were originally called fireballs that makes sense i think the the orange ones are called sparkies originally okay it's still weirdly precise in spots that's fair Yeah, okay, I don't understand. Clearly. It doesn't matter, though. Mario... Wow, 246? Masher really does do the damage variance thing. Like, a lot, huh? Got the zoom shoes. Oh, I forgot about the zoom shoes. Speed up by 10. Also defense and magic defense up, too, apparently. Bowser can go fast now. Mario can ignore the gimmick of the room. Clown! Wait. Clown! Clown! clown. Not just even a regular clown, but a special clown. Okay, it can miss. That makes sense. What is the clown thinking about? Note that I have nothing up my sleeve. You don't... Wait. Wait, you do actually have sleeves. You didn't have sleeves before, I think. These enemies didn't have arms before, from what I remember. Bowser is afraid. Even Bowser is afraid. There's the timing. Lately, I've been feeling chained down. I get it. sure Bowser has had metal music before, which is... which makes that funny. Something about these chain chomps just, like, chilling out. They're not... when they're not always biting, and when they... when they're just hanging out like this, they look so peaceful. Clown button was a smart idea for me to put on my 
The clown, clown is the only easily accessible soundboard button that I have, and I think it was a good choice. It's a surprisingly versatile and useful sound. Chugga chugga! <laughs> chugga chugga honk! This is my personal railway. Eh? My, it's you again! I'm amazed you made it this far. Yes, quite amazing you are. Since you're here, maybe you could clear up something for me. My bride the bee is chanting, Mario, help me, Mario, help me! Is she showing her happiness? Hey, wait a second, maybe Mario's another guy! What if you're this Mario she keeps talking about? Trying to take my bride away? Why don't you take this instead? That, that is true that that's probably a rare sentence to say. didn't do it? Uh, I ran out of bombs. Ah, uh, well, so long. God, we get to see the cake in HD soon, too. God, there's so many things in this game that I'm just excited to see in, like, more graphics, you know? I didn't even think about that until, like, right now. Now, I remember where the secret treasure is in this room. I think. Wait. Oh, oh. There we go. Got the goodie bag. What does that do again? Packed full of coins. Oh yeah, we also have the lucky jewel. Causes lucky at will. That's a very fun set of words. That's got that very like video game phrase set of words vibe to it. Causes lucky at will. Now we can get a close-up look at what all this stuff is in this that used to be a mess of blocks. We've got a Stunt Race FX, we've got a Disc Coon, and the Samus, and the Princess Peach, and there's a beetle. I hope I don't fail the curtain minigame somehow. I always worry about that. Mario, you did come to rescue me. I was so frightened and lonely. But now that you're here... The door won't open? I think we need Booster's spell to undo the lock on it. What should we do? Booster, the famous wizard with spells... ...that he has. Aha! What should we do? Booster's returning, isn't he? I know. Hide somewhere and wait until he opens the door. You can move freely behind the curtains. Good luck hiding from Booster and his Sniffsters. So there's a fight if you fail this. And if you win, you get item. Well, shouldn't we be concentrating on the girl? Ah. Right! Now, about the girl in my life, who thinks I should marry her? Well, speak up! A wedding ceremony would make a great party! Ah, a party! We haven't had one of those! It could be fun! So, what is a party? Well, you drink punch and eat cake, I think. Hmm, drink punch, eat cake? Sounds complicated. I don't know if I can muster the energy to do it. Let's walk through it once. It's wedding rehearsal time. We will now begin the ceremony. 
Walk down the aisle with the... Hey, someone make her smile. Beautiful bride-to-be. Wait, Mario sh always shows up right about now to ruin it. Mario always shows up about now to ruin the fun. We gotta take that into consideration, you know? Someone go and get the Mario doll. It isn't here. Of course it's here. You lazy slobs couldn't find water if you were fish. It's behind those curtains. Number one, you go and look. I if you can just leap out from behind the curtains, in a way. Nope, nothing here. I wouldn't go and lose my Mario doll, you idiots. Ah, uh, number two, you look too. I don't know why I'm so nervous about failing this. It's not... Particularly difficult, I don't think. I don't see anything. We can't give up. It's gotta be here somewhere. Number three, it's your turn. They give you plenty of time. Wait a minute. This is better than the party. Look out, cause here I come! <laughs> Wait a second, it's right up there! I found the Mario doll! But we'll never be able to reach it up there! Oh, the sorrow! What am I gonna do? I'm about to lose it! No! Oh. Goodness, you're so kind. Thank you for getting my doll. I'd like to reward you. Here, take this. Got Booster's Charm. That used to be the amulet. May happiness follow you wherever you go. All right, enough is enough. Cancel the rehearsal. We're going on with the show. Here's the password. Robin. That's right, it uses the file. That it uses your... Since you don't put in a file name, I guess it's your Nintendo Switch profile name. That's me! Wow! Wait, there's another hit fish here? What do you mean? There's a second one? I forgot about that. Well, anyway. God, the saxophone's going wacky. Great item, bad smell. You know, that explains this description a lot more. I think it said this before when it was just amulet and it was like, well, okay then. But knowing it's booster affiliated, I guess does explain that. <laughs> well, sure. Mallow can have this, I guess. Well. Nah, that's fine, actually. Now, if this were Super Mario RPG Randomizer, Booster would be standing over here, or whoever replaced Booster would be standing over here and be fightable. Because there's item from that, too. It's a, or, like, it's another check, rather. Wait! You took all the trouble to come here! So stick around! 
It's knife guy and great guy. They're just clowns. They're just here. And there's nothing that you can do about it. No longer amateur names, I see. You know, I'm gonna actually use Bowser's status effect moves just in case they can debuff bosses, because that actually seems really useful. If it works, and it did work. Anyway, what's Knife Clown thinking about? Can there be no happiness without sacrifice? Wow. Deep thoughts from Knife Guy over here. Yeah, you are still Great Guy in a way that doesn't make a lot of sense. It's it's not it's not the kind of great where you're like that's great. It's the kind of great where you're like that's a great that water goes through, or whatever. Maybe there's there's got to be some kind of joke here, right? Also, wait, they've got- he's got like a spring in him. I didn't notice that before. I- I probably did, because I think some of the animations make that really obvious. Actually, but still. One thing I also never looked into was like their casino that they have. I probably need to like check that out in this run. What are you thinking about? Can there be no new era without misfortune? These are some Pagliacci type clowns. I tell you what. Wow. Booster, Booster's Charm really boosting Mallow up a bit. Sorry? You can swap mid-fight if someone's asleep? Revolutionary. That's That wasn't a thing you could do before. Can you only do that if they're asleep or can you swap at any time? If someone gets KO'd, I see. Anyway, time to jump off the tower, I guess. As one does. This part. I love the cloud. I love the big smiley cloud. Please, let me go. Won't you please? Pretty please? Eh? Hey, where's my bride to be? She's tied to a ladder. I want to play hide and seek too. Look, I don't want to play anything with you. What a poor sport. Well, we really should hurry along. A yummy cake is waiting for us after we climb this hill. Let's go. No, I don't want to marry you. Please let me go. Help Mario, please help me. My peach voice is not working. Uh oh, it's Mario. We didn't plan on this. Yes, you did. You literally did. Mario, you aren't invited to our wedding. Besides, we still have to have the rehearsal. I'll be happy to race you to the wedding hall, but you better not get in my way. Ready? This is the Booster Hill track. Need some advice? Sure. You can only move left or right and jump. You can't go forward or backward. Touch the snipsters or any of the barrels and you'll fall back. Jump on the barrels of the snipsters to sprint forward. Reach out and touch Princess Peach and you'll win flowers. Ready, set, go! Once again, timing. Aha!
Yo, no. I'm right there. There we go. I don't know how many flowers you can get in this. Oh no! I love hearing all of this music so much. Red barrels? There must have been fast barrels before, but I don't think they were color-coded in that manner. doing way worse than this before in the past. I'm doing well for this part of the game. Congratulations! Scored 10 flowers. Oh, there's even like a, a finishing note in the song now. That's good. I'm pretty sure I didn't do that well on that usually. Marry more. Welcome to Marymore. We have a lovely wedding hall and four-star hotel facilities. Please enjoy your stay here. What? You're seeking a man with a scraggly beard and weird helmet? How could I forget him? He's up at the wedding hall. God, even, even random Toad's dress has like a texture to it. Whoops. Not a reliable input, that one. Oh yeah, Mario's got some texture too. But like, yeah. I don't know why I am the sort of person to still be amazed when video games include textures in them. Because <laughs> that's kind of like a standard video game practice. Anyway, I don't remember what changes in Booster Pass at all. Isn't there like a... Is there like a weird button over here somewhere? Or something? No. I thought I glitched Mario's face through the wall for like a split second there, but I think that was just the, the prompt to talk. Hmm? I thought I saw the prompt, a weird prompt. You saw something sparkle. Found a frog coin. Sorry, what? Isn't there like a, ah. Golly, you're that famous Mario guy. If I beat you, they'll make me Snipster number four if I'm lucky. Yeah, this is, if you die to, oh, you can switch at any time. Well, like once a character round. This is the, this is the, um, if you die to this snippet enough times, I messed up thought peak. They actually get promoted. Oh, you can switch like once a round of turns, I guess. That's that was not a feature before, for sure. Being an apprentice is tough. I can't take much more. Sorry. make me take the training course all over again. Put Croca-Cola in the storage box. When you can't carry any more of an item, any extras are sent to the storage box in Mario's pad. 
That's also a new feature. Are you just like a regular spiny? Spiky? Sure are. You know, that probably is a that probably is a big factor in why they did that. The party switching thing. So there's more monsters to look at, first of all. Yeah, this is making me think you can definitely fight the Lakitu. As apprentices, they undergo intense daily training, such as chasing beetles, in hopes of becoming snifsters. Jesters. They carry cards with them, so they're always ready to play, but their habit of throwing cards around means they never get to play with the full deck. That seems like it'd make many games impossible. These may look like ordinary cannons, but the bullets they shoot have eyes, hands, and mouths that grin almost as if they were alive. That's nothing new for Mario. Their blue bodies bobble and bounce, blowing blistering bursts of fire saber, leaving the brave boiling and bereft. Somebody let the Dragon Quest bestiary writer in for that one. They just like broke in the office or something. No one knows why there were chain chomps in the tower. It's possible that somewhere in there is a chain chomp awaiting a worthy master. Booster, when caught. Caught after failing the mini. That's a funny distinction. Due to mounting expenses for tower and train maintenance, he doesn't have the coins to repair his busted door. It's been marked, will not fix. Oh no. Knife guy. His best skill is knife throwing, but he can climb on his brother's shoulders while his brother stands on a ball, so he's also no slouch at balancing. Great guy. He picked up ball balancing as a hobby, but now he can't help but balance on other things too. His only flaw is a tendency to sweat under stress. I guess he is a pretty great guy then if he's got a single flaw. Oh right, that's a good, that's a great, that's a great question. I feel like it's the last day of summer and I just remembered all the homework I had. You know, I, that makes sense. I, I am going to catch this Lakitu. Maybe, if you can do that. Aha! Gotcha! Ouch! Do people not like me? I wonder if any of Peach's triple moves are going to have a side effect of healing the party. I bet they will. I forgot that Artichoker had little feet. But they sure do. Wow, Bowser, your levels stink. I guess you'll get hit points. Right, Flower Dragon. I cannot look at the menu from the world map, by the way. We have to learn about Lackett. You can't fight Lackethews in midair without jumping from a high place, but you knew that, of course, since you battled one, right? I did know that. And now, it's time to BRB for a second, which I guess means it's also time 
for, you know, something I don't know if it's broken because of Windows Update and also a Stream Deck update. So let's find out together. Seems to be working. Hello. Congratulations to those who won, and condolences to those who did not. Booster's Tower was a good time, and you can always go back and watch it later with the power of the internet. Oh, I forgot to- I almost forgot to change the scene. We're back here now. Hello. Isn't that just splendid? This place is heaven, even for the rich and famous. 
I have 659 coins, by the way. I was checking because I could buy fireworks. And there's also like a special super room you can go to for like 300 or something. Hello, how may I help you today? So the super hammer exists if you don't get the masher. The womp glove exists. The handgun exists. And the fake chomp exists if you don't buy, if you don't find the chomp. It has one less power. That's true. Handgun packing a kick is funny. Wow, are the work pants just like really good? Is Geno armor just like trash? Is, I why? I mean, I could get way more defense. Hey, yeah, wait a minute. What do you mean the shell of a chain chop? <laughs> Nurture ring. Overflowing with the power of love. So this was the B-tub ring before. Th that nobody understood why it was called that. And I guess it's nurture. I don't remember what you do with this thing. Or I don't remember the purpose of this ring. I think it's for weird shenanigans. Hello, how may I help you? Oh, honey, please, can we stay in the suite, please? This place is known for its exquisite service, especially in the suite, but it's a tad pricey. Hang on, I have 500 coins. It has damage taken from elemental attacks, an effect shared with Booster's Charm. It also has a hidden function in that it is needed to hatch the mystery egg into the lamb's lore. Specifically, Princess Peach needs to use the mystery egg ten times with the ring equipped. Uh huh. I think, I don't, is the mystery egg one of the, one of, I went into the wrong place by the way. Is one, is that one of the mobile shop items maybe? Like the special shop guy? I don't remember when he stocks more stuff. You don't have anything? Wait. Yeah. That, that name does work a lot better. Trying to remember where the fireworks is. I think it's in here maybe. Thanks, you just wait for my masterpiece. Come back with more coins and buy my inventions, all right? I don't know why I have no sense of direction. As well as, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. No memory, maybe. There you are. Welcome to my per tin store. I would like a shiny stone. The trade your fireworks? Thank you, please come again. Got a shiny stone. A pretty stone. Yay! I didn't check the fireworks description. It was probably like, they're fireworks or something like that. Now, I don't need this right now. <laughs> and it would be a bad idea to make use of it as soon as I can. Most likely, but it's funny to have. Or not funny. We were about to begin the ceremony when some kids in dark clothes kicked us out. Help! Booster's wedding is in progress. We're barricading the door, so don't even bother trying to sneak inside. There, I think that's the one who kicked us out. I came all the way over here to give these two a proper send-off, and look what happens. Hmm. Looks like he needs to go somewhere fast. Who's the guy with the scraggly beard? He and Princess Peach were... Now don't tell me they're getting married. 
Who's the cuckoo blue in screaming, it's time for my wedding? Guess who does he think he is? This was supposed to be my wedding day. All my plans have been ruined. It was my dream to stay in the suite after we got married. I'm the best photographer around. Would you like a wedding portrait? I saw some people who look like chefs go into the wedding hall through the back way. Weird, huh? Oh god, this I just realized that Bowser kissing Mario in HD is also in this game. Or whatever. <laughs> However that turns out. I'm not letting you in here, and you can forget about the back entrance, because it's locked. At least I think it is. It wasn't locked. Teehee. We bake a cake for the big wedding! It must be a masterpiece! So you're still like this. Yeah, the groom-to-be ordered something special. Wait until he sees this! What? What? What are you doing? Oh, that's nice. He just stepped on the- You fools! Completely unchanged... Exaggerated accent in dialogue. Hell, who goes there? You look like Mario, but the door's shut tight. Listen, mustache. You and your overgrown turtle friend can take a hike. Go, scat. Make like Mario and jump out of here. Get lost. Oops, we got a problem. I better go tell Booster. My snipster voices are interchangeable. It won't budge. Say, help, what help me bust this door down? On the count of three, we'll run together. Timing's the key. Ready? Here we go. This has always been slightly finicky. Booster, sir! Mario's here! You clowns! Clown! You don't break down a door when you're entering when entering a room! Shut it! Shut it now! Move it! Move it! Mario, is that <clears throat> Mario, is that you, Mario? I'm in here! Hurry, get me out of here! My Princess Peach voice does not exist. We're pretty sure Mr. Mustache can't break in here, but that turtle looks mean. He could be trouble. They have no idea what they're up against. I'm lightning in a bottle. I'm an earthquake in a can. I'll bust this open in no time. what you're doing great I've dropped everything my shoes my ring my brooch and my crown booster sir booster I am um... don't bother me now okay everyone the bride's growing impatient let the wedding begin what's this water coming from your eyes are you leaking my dear they salty! Booster, sir, uh, I believe that the bride may be uh, crying. Crying? But that's what people do when they're sad! How disgusting! That stuff must be corrosive! It tastes like the sea! How can we make it her cry anyway? I believe she's crying because she's dropped some of her wedding gear. Ah, uh, of course! But those tears will ruin the cake! Make her stop before Mario breaks in! Distant jumping sound. But Mario's already in! Booster, sir, we have to go find her things. The wedding can't go on without them. We're still waiting on the cake, too. 10-4, good buddy. You'll find the stuff. I'll move the cer- You find the stuff. I'll make the ceremony. F I'll move the ceremony forward. Hurry! Booster, sir, you're supposed to be on the right. The bride should be on your left. Just testing. Like this, right? Booster, sir, I found the ring. Booster, here's the brooch! Booster, sir, I found the shoes! Hey, wait, wasn't there one more thing? You're right, the crown! Uh-oh, they're lighting the candles. Hurry and get back the accessories from the Snipsters and save Princess Peach. If you're quick, something good might happen. Oh, I'll look for the last one, you give this to Booster. I'll look for the last one, you go give this to Booster. 
I'll look for the last one. You go give this to Booster. And there's the crown. Oh, here it is. Hey, you're Mario. So you come to crash my wedding, I presume. Mario. You're finally here. <laughs> eh, what is Bowser doing here? What a waste of time. I've got bigger fish to fry. I know I'm in good hands when you're around, Mario. Here's a kiss for my hero. Oh, isn't that great? You're gonna kiss him? But I'm the one who saved your skin? Me too, I want a reward. I'll take a kiss. Give me a kiss. Stop it, all of you. I'm getting so confused. This is for you, Mario. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's still there. So now Peach and I are allies! Wait, what the? I didn't catch the hole. Peach thinks this is hilarious. Now, let us observe the image once more. I'm so glad this is still in the game, it's very silly. What the? Now that's one for the scrapbook. Come, Mario, let's get back to the Mushroom Kingdom. The Chancellor is waiting for us. <laughs> Bowser. Okay, bye. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We've made the most amazing cake. You won't believe it. Here is cake, but where are bride and groom? Wait, are you? I think I think this chef was more stereotype French before and is now like stereotype German instead. Maybe. Where is everyone? This is big trouble. The bride is leaving. Maybe I'm misremembering. You're taking the bride away? But there won't be anyone to eat this cake! What? This can't be! We worked all day on it! Was he always German? You fools! Stop it! Stop it! The cake is slightly rotating. That did zero. This is not pound cake, so stop pounding it! I don't remember if they both have the same thought peak. Stop, stop! The cake is taking damage, and they are not. Congratulations! Stop it! Stop it! I'm gonna check to see if the right chef has the same thought. Or the, I guess this would be the left. Same thought, okay. Stop it! Poke, poke, poke. Ouch, ouch, what are you doing? Chef Torte, the cake's moving. Torte? Boss, he's not moving, back to work. I know it was moving.
just be tort. Fair enough. Poke, poke, poke. Oh, Joe, now what? Chef Tort, the cake's moving! Talk no more of this. No, really, truly, why would I lie? Because you are idiots! See, it is not moving. Huh? The cake's alive, run! See, I was right! That cake's wiggling. Attack with A to blow the candles out. Right, the womp. Ouch. So I know it says attack with A, but... I want to know if this does anything. And also it will give me boost. And do damage through the candles. Pain Spout. Oh, that used to be called Geyser or something? I don't remember what that was called before. I think Geyser is right. Mario's double asleep. I'm pres- I forgot my own settings for the thing. Yeah, the cake is- I think the game is more difficult in general. I'm not getting that timing. And I think the cake is attacking more often than normal. Yeah, it's getting like two moves a turn, what the heck? Why is this cake so killing me? There's the, there's the, it's a weirdly late one. Mallow's so happy to be here. Congratulations! Oh, is that why the cake was getting two attacks per turn? Because it's two parts, technically, but you can't target the other one for a while.
So Gino just stays dead. So you can just swap into like a, a dead. That's fair. The cake was weak to jump and mute. Maybe we ought to wait. I don't have a way to mute anything yet. This is Booster's wedding cake. Don't have a fit if we nibble on it. Hey, number one, where's my cake? Booster, sir. There's a 70% chance that the object you're standing on is a cake. This thing's a cake? Okay, everyone, here's the stumper. How do we eat this? I say we boil it. Number two, what do you say? Way too messy. Why don't you just swallow it? What? One go? That's easier said than done. Come, Booster. You can do it. Open wide, please. My nerves are shot. Oh, man, oh, man. I feel like I've forgotten the time I cord before a bungee jump. Here it comes. Wait, wait! Did the cake just move? Concentrate, sir. This doesn't feel right. Oh, delicious! Hang on, I'm feeling a feeling! Yes, yes! It's so good it makes me want to cry! Congratulations, sir! The wedding is now officially over. Thanks, everyone! To the stars. <laughs> Though I may be bored. It's time to deal some damage. DP on wake up. Destroy! Wow. What would Booster's DP be? That was a very coherent taiku haiku, actually. I don't know why I said taiku. Mario learns Super Fireball. Uppercut involving a train is a fantastic set of words, thank you. That was wonderful, Mario. You're my knight in shining armor. Finally, let's get back. Oh, what a day. Can you believe it? I almost got married to that thing. But I hope, so I, I hope someone marries me someday. Peach, Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, has joined the party. Be sure to bring her back safely. If this is in the same canon as, uh... Oh, the, the pipes on this organ have, like, lips. If this is in the same canon as Mario Odyssey, that whole scene is interesting. Peach is here. It slaps him silly. Oh, I didn't- there's hearts in the descriptions. So, this is why Peach is broken. Hmm. That's a great question. I wonder if Peach's heals are still as- You know, given that things do more damage in this game, I wonder if Peach just gets obliterated constantly if you try to- If you try to use her in- like, more than she used to which was a significant amount of obliteration. Port, there are skilled chefs who make delicious cake. <clears throat> delicious cakes. Their tall chef hats block their vision. So sometimes they toss in seasonings on intuition alone. How does that block vision? Ah. Uh, lazy shell peach is probably less powerful, yeah. I was actually thinking earlier It'd be really funny if you, like, tried to take Lazy Shell Peach into one of the post-game boss fights and they just cast, like, Megadalone or whatever and did 9 million damage until you died. Like, if it did a Persona check to see if you're cheating and then obliterate you instantly. Type of thing. The top layer of a cake baked by torts. Despite its name, it is not a bunt cake. The bottom layer of torts cake. If it had to be born a cake, it wishes that its baker had gone with the more traditional strawberries rather than raspberries. 
This cake has opinions about its own recipe, I guess. And now everyone is here. Until Peach leaves the party temporarily for like five minutes in a second, basically. Mario! That creepy guy just left. Does that mean we can go on with our wedding? Nod. Oh, Raz, I'm so happy. Oh god, the boss puts on the boss putting on their own lazy shell is also a funny idea. Let's get this wedding over with so we can stay in the suite and then go on our honeymoon. Let's do it. All right, you'll have to excuse us. Okay, everyone, we're going to start this from the beginning. Back inside, please. That Raz, he found himself a real peach. I can't take it anymore. She's so gorgeous. Rainy's so beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Shh, quiet now. I do. I do. <laughs> I didn't know about that bit. Yes, indeed! Tis a melody of celebration. Composed by the one and only Todovsky. Also, the lips move. Yes, indeed, just made me remember my favorite bit of Woolsey's Chrono Trigger translation. Which was changed to, like, indistinguishable growling in the retranslations. It's our turn next. I wish the people before us would hurry up. We've been waiting for 30 minutes now. Now this cake will stay put! Don't worry, Chef Tort, they'll love this. What are you doing? Yeah, they, they just do this again. So why the heck did the cake become alive? It's a mystery that will never be solved. Oh man, is it over yet? I hate getting my picture taken. I wish those two a wonderful life together. Hope they don't fight too often. I wish it were ski season. Pipe down and relax. We're finally man and wife. Honey, I don't want you to wander too far off now. I'm the best photographer around. Would you like a wedding portrait? Okay, get a little closer now. Ready? All right. One, two. Hey, you there. Quite a long face. This isn't a funeral, you know. All right, on the count of three, say cheese. It's going to be held here. This is absolutely gorgeous. I came to see where the wedding's going to be held. For my honeymoon, I was thinking of going to Seaside Town. Mario! The Chancellor is waiting. We're going back now, right? Okay, so this is something I, I know about. But I didn't know originally. And they actually showed this obscure... Relatively obscure scene in the trailers, which is funny. No. Mari Mario! Chancellor must be worried sick about us. You saw him before. Come on, let's go. No. Mario, if we don't get the princess back, we'll be charged with kidnapping. Let's go. No. Mario. No one, no one is authorized to kidnap the princess except me. I just wouldn't be right. Let's take her back already. Forget it. Enough already. It's just a funny scene of yelling at Mario if you refuse to go back like 20 times in a row. Welcome to Marymore. You can get married up in the hall. And if you wish to stay the night, they can help you over there in that gorgeous hotel. I never knew about that scene until recently. Oh, it just automatically takes you back here. Welcome back, Mario. All's well here. Oh god, I have to do my Toad voice again. Mario, welcome back! You look like you're in one piece! The princess! 
I'm finally home with Mario and some wonderful new friends. They saved my life. Let's go find the Chancellor. Lead on. Come on, Mario. We mustn't keep the Chancellor waiting. Chancellor, the princess, she's back! Thank goodness, this has been a true nightmare. I'm a nervous wreck. Oh yeah, the scrapbook. I forgot about that. I had to check that after this. I know I've worried everyone, but I'm fine. I can take care of myself. With a little help from Mario. Come everyone, let's get out of this drafty doorway. Various nodding. Mario, I hope you know how thankful we are. But you must tell me one more... Tell me one thing. How on earth can you trust Bowser? Trust... Trust Bowser? What are you talking about? Mario, what are you doing with... What's going on here? Big ads! Chancellor... Listen, everyone, relax. Mario's got things under control. Uh, yeah, yes, I see. Bowser, perhaps it's time you told us your story. What exactly did you mean when you said you had bigger fish to fry? I can't tell him the truth. If this gets out, I'm finished. Various nodding. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Perhaps I can set the stage and the others can add their comments along the way. The Princess Bowser and Mario were thrown in different directions after a terrible explosion. Something huge crashed through the Star, Row high, star Road high above Bowser's place and... and went... Kaboom! Right into Bowser's Keep! HD Mario XOR. Finally. I love Exor Mario. He's so mad. It was a gigantic sword! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now Bowser's Keep has been taken over by some monsters. Martin o Mario brother is T posing to assert sword mode. That is true. Now Bowser's Keep has been taken over by monsters who work for some creep named Smithy. They've thrown me out of my own. I mean, I've just I decided to take a vacation. They can't do this to me. Anyway, I was working on a plan to get my house back when Mario walked up to me and begged me to let him join my minions. I had no choice but to let him in. It was pathetic. <laughs> Peach laughing. It's okay, Mario. We know Bowser's stretching the truth a little. And Mallow, how about you? Why are you traveling with Mario? Well, because Mario's helping, my helping me find my real home and my parents. That's why we're on the road together. What? This is dreadful news. Awful, horrible. I hope you find your real parents soon. And, uh, Gino, was it? Why are you and Mario... The Star Road has been destroyed. I'm here to fix it. Mario is helping me search for the star pieces. I need them to rebuild the road. Star pieces? The star road grants our wishes. So unless we find all the star pieces and fix the star road, we can kiss our dreams goodbye. What? This is dreadful news. Awful horrible. Isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. For example, say Bowser kidnapped you. Without the aid of the star rod, you'd probably never be rescued. Star road, you'd probably never be rescued. Actually, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's just forget about these star things. Great, Bowser. Then you can just keep your kiss your precious keep goodbye. Oh, huh, what? Uh, let's see. If Mario can't find the stars, Peach will be mine. But I won't get my keep back unless Mario finds the stars. So if I want my keep back, we need those star things. But uh, run that past me again. Uh, just ignore that idiot. I don't think I could take a word. I don't think I could take a world without wishes. We need to go and find those star pieces now. A princess, you can't be serious. You're not thinking of joining them, are you? 
This is sheer madness. You're a princess. What will people say? I don't care. Things seem so hopeless right now. I'm tired. I think I need to lie down in my room for a while. Mario, Mallow, Gino, and Bowser, you too. Good luck. <laughs> Various silly poses. Now then! Thanks to Mario, the princess is back. I now declare this date to be forever known forever as... Uh, hey, wait a minute. You don't suppose... Could it have been this smithy who attacked our kingdom? I fear we have no cause to rejoice. In fact, Mario, we must ask you for yet another favor. Please, on behalf of all of us, you must defeat Smithy. It is the only way we shall ever live in peace again. Princess Peach is home safe, but she's decided to stay at the kingdom. All we can do is wait here. Don't let us down. Mario! This was not a cutscene before, of course. <laughs> ten point landing. Ten out of ten points is what I mean by that. I don't know if that means something else. Please, Mario, take me along with you. Please, please. Don't worry, Granny helped me through this one, so no one will even no one will ever notice that I'm gone. So let's go find us a star. Huh, but I, I wonder where it could be. I have absolutely no idea. Do you? Mario, at times like these... What should we... What should we do? We should ask Grandpa. My Grandpa should know. Nod. Okay, then. Let's do it. Just as I thought. Peach joins the party once again. A ten-point landing would be landing on every one of your fingers and toes simultaneously? Hmm. Perhaps. So, this is like a big stats boost. It lowers your speed. I think Peach needs some stats boots. Stats boosting, though. Because Peach is pretty fragile, so... That's also a great question. I think we could get a... a we could take a look. Spare us all! A shining veil protects the whole party from any one attack. Well, we can see what they do. Healing Rainbow. Rain Rainbow power greatly heals everyone. Can even revive downed allies. Starry Shell Spike. A spinning shell charged with star power that hits all enemies hard. I guess she does have tank limit break. And also healer limit break. Because, like, that's the tank limit break. And that's the... And that's the, uh... That's the healer limit break there. Do you think Spare Us All is like a Dragon Quest joke? Like old localization Dragon Quest joke? Or do you think that's a coincidence? Avoid fighting the pointy monsters up on Star Hill. Sure. I like to think about Heal Us All and the like. I love the old Dragon Quest localize like the new stuff is silly like with like crackle and whatever and could crackle but fire fire more fire most heal heal us heal us all Is the world map getting more added to it as I go or is it just a more involved song than it used to be Like, used to be in the old... Dragon Quest IX would take about 500 streams. <laughs> they didn't add more to the song before, and they definitely do now, I think. Dragon Quest IX would take 500 streams, and it would be very funny. Right, scrapbook. It would... 
It would it would take longer that once I completed Endwalker, if I started to stream Dragon Quest IX, I would not be done by the time Dawn Trail was out. But it is a pretty funny idea. And right, scrapbook. Mario and Yoshi raced Boshi on Yoster Isle and won the whole thing. I'm not good at racing or keeping rhythm, so I'm glad Mario is here to be so amazing at everything. <laughs> the end of Dawn Trail, yeah. I need to, I, now that I'm thinking about old Dragon Quest spell names again, if I make an RPG at some point, maybe I can swipe that, because that's not what they're doing now. Maybe I can just take more and most and us and us all, because that's fun. A star piece fell on Moleville and a couple of kids named Dinah and Mike got trapped in the mines, but it's okay, Mario will save them. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't. Wait, Oct I mean, heal and heal, heal more. I forgot Octopath did that. An explosion left us a bit worse for wear, but we secured the third star piece. Would even Punchinello's wishes be granted at the Star Road? At any rate, we should find those children. Minecars rule. I'm glad Dinah was all right. Might seems fine too. And the minecar was a real thrill to ride. Can we go on it again? Dragon Warrior Randomizer commentators called Erdrick Swords a sword more. That's pretty good. The ultra tough Bowser says he'll let us join his minions. I'm already Mario's minion, though. No, you're not, Mallow. You're an ally. It's different. Now that our team's stronger, we're going to rescue Princess Peach from Booster Tower. Princess Peach and Booster's wedding is booked at the Hall in Marymore, but the princess doesn't seem to seem like she wants to get married, and Mario looks worried, so we should probably stop it. We saved Princess Peach from the wedding, and Booster got to eat a big cake, so everything worked out okay? But we should still get the princess back home to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, you get, a, you get the souvenir photo for this. A souvenir photo taken at Marymore. May all your days be joyous ones. Of course that goes in the scrapbook. Wow, Princess Peach snuck out of the castle and joined the team. I hope the Chancellor doesn't find out. We're gonna go to Tadpole Pond now to ask Grandpa where the next star piece is. Seems like it's mostly Mallow writing most of it. Yeah. Hello, Frog Sage. Hey, Grandpa, have you heard anything about the star pieces? Well, if it isn't Mallow, I do have the latest news about falling stars, in fact. A large star has been sighted on Star Hill. Hmm, it does seem likely that a star piece would fall there. We should go explore Star Hill right away. Well, that was... that was simple. I miss the name Frog Fuchsius. It was like... a real stretch of a pun, but still. Whoops. I forgot Star Hill was already here. Star Hill, the place that randomizer players try to avoid. They don't like doing the Star Hill check, is my understanding. Also, this place looks gorgeous now. To marry more. Take the flower and the star- talk to the flower and the star gate will open. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy playing more of the game yourself. To Star Hill. This is Star Hill. Wishes which were transformed at the Star Road fall to here. But... Some wishes that haven't been granted yet are, fa are falling because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. The Frog Sage mentioned a star piece on this hill. Let's see if we can find it. Wish I had some cricket jam. The randomizer has also introduced wish randomization with a bunch of silly joke ones. Which is pretty good. 
Peach is here. Sackett and Gecko. More funny guys to me in Star Hill. I should give Mallow the zoom shoes so that Mallow can look at things quickly. The red one, huh? What happened to the green guy? That's a great question. See ya. I hope my baby's cute. Can't wait to start a family. Oh, hey. Go! Rofer. They're not called Muku Muku anymore. But I still love them. Why are you picking on me? Look at them look around. I think about the Princess Peach slapping animations in this game and the sound effects they make and other sound effects from this game in general. Like, maybe more than I should. I just think it's a really satisfying- By the way, Bones! I just think it's a really satisfying sound effect and animation. Like, it was more pronounced in the original sprites, but like her hand got giant for the final hit and it was funny. Maybe that's only later slap gloves. I don't remember. What are you thinking about? I can't help being roguish. It's how I am. Yeah, her hand becomes giant a little bit. Oh, Christ. <laughs> so remember how I said, remember how I said Peach was fragile and also enemies do more damage in this game? Yeah. Peach just got destroyed. Anyway, what's this, what's this, what are these bones thinking about? You're master doomed. Yeah. You've got one joke. Can I? Oh, you can only use, you can use toad assist if someone is dead. That's fair. Uh, I should wait. Oh, oh, I thought I was able to use the pick me up on Master Doom for a second. I could probably use pure water though. I've never thought about that. Well, I want to see it. It's not going to be super... Wait, this is... This is... This special animation that was in trailers is for healing? That's funny. It heals the reserves, too. Time for Princess Peach to dance. She's having fun. She looks a little bit concerning for some reason with that face looking like at a weird up angle. Mallow learned Shocker. Mallow got big hit points this level. There's like a, a star bit over there. Chunks, huh? Oh, right, you can go over here. I wish I weren't such a crybaby. This one's private. Who do you think you are spying on other people's wishes? Come on, our quest for the star pieces is important. Everyone's counting on us. We've got to hurry. Sorry about that. It's just that I'm embarrassed about my wish. 
In the in the uh, randomizer of this, the the one that is private is also randomized, so you can you can Mallow can wish for some very silly things with the additional silly ones thrown in there. I can't remember any specific examples of silly ones. This lizard is having a time, just walking in place. That's a lot of guys. Shocker was always a really weird one. Oh. Okay, things definitely didn't take zero from Thunderbolt so often before. Super Fireball is still single target, I think, yeah. It's Ultra Fireball and Ultra Jump that are multi-target. Fun and run. I didn't time that well. I love throw frame. I just want to establish whether or not they're also immune to the only other AoE button we have right now. No, but it's not reliable. <laughs> Poor throw fern. Wanna double your coins? I freaking guess. That is... Huh. That is kind of weird about Terrorize now that you mention it. Nobody has ever tried using Terrorize this much in this video game. I hope I become famous. The hunger. Oh, for some food. Hello, Balome and Punchinello. Pulsar. By the stars, you'll regret hitting me! Well, fine. Maybe I won't. I forgot that Bowser had that equipped. You can block that. So who has the best dance, do you think? Mallow, good choice. Bowser's also a great one. I didn't check what, or I didn't like observe what Peach's... Okay, she gives magic defense. I see. I want to be a world-class baker.
So Bowser's magic attacks aren't very strong still. But the debuff probably is pretty useful. In this context, your enemies do like more damage now, at least. There's no reason not to do the shell game now, unless you're like, if you can, if you can win at it. Yeah, the poison dress has a good palette. I think it's pretty similar to like the bubble power up one, actually. I want to be the best treasure hunter in the world. Please let Mallow find his way home. Why are this wishes? It's from my mom and dad. They're wishing for me to come home. Sniffle. This isn't the time to be crying. They're waiting for me to come home. Come on, Mario. We've got a busy schedule to keep. I'll make you eat dust if you don't hurry. Extremely brief, sad moment. I did re I did regret it. Right, your instant kill counter. Oh, okay, we can learn that if you have someone dead at the end of a battle, they revive with one health. I didn't that's a that's a good thing to know. I don't remember where we entered this room. Was it was this is this the right is this the wrong door? Is this the right door? Star Star Road is con oh, well, it's not. There's the star piece over there. I want to help out my older brother, Mario. I guess Luigi is in this game, sort of. Yeah, let's see Starry Shell Spike. That's pretty good. Counterattacks physical attacks with kamikaze only. Also, the not only is that animation just kind of funny on its own, that was that was very specifically the Mario Strikers like super move way of kicking something. Wish I could run faster. That's probably Yoshi. If I could just get that melody. Hey, wait. That means we're granting wishes with the Star Road being broken if Todovsky wanting the melody is a wish. We're just doing it anyway. So the Star Road isn't mandatory for wishes. And now we get to see this scene with everyone here. And we've already got four out of seven. How are we supposed to know there's seven stars when the subtitle's gone? So a star piece fell here after all. Where to next then? I think there's a place called Seaside Town up ahead. I hear that it's a busy resort town, so the people there might know something. Let's go see. Group nod. You've come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more star pieces. It's true. 
There was a good bit that originated from somewhere or other and got animated and dubbed. That was like that whole scene of them explaining the Star Road and Wishes in the Mushroom Kingdom. Except Bowser starts talking about free will and being like, but well, what if I wished to kidnap Princess Peach after she was to be rescued? What would happen then? And so on. And also, like, kicks Gino through the ceiling while saying, Free will, chumps! It's pretty good. Because he says, I wish I was kicking you through the ceiling right now. And then he does it. Bowser would do this. This is in character for Bowser, I think. Anyway, here's some weapons. Dot MP3. Sure, everything here is perfectly fine and normal. I'm sure everything here is perfectly fine and normal. This is the inn. You may stay for free. Thanks! Okay. Watching. It's normal. I'm just a customer. Don't tell me you want supplies, I know. I love how awkwardly they're... You made it cost 69 coins? Is that different? It still says Muku Muku in the description. You could sell the goodie bag for 555. Honestly, that might be a better use of it than actually using it in battle, from what I remember. But we'll... we'll I, I need to buy these. These are vitally important. Thank you very much. Oh, you're over here. You're collecting stars, right? Only three more to go. Hm. If you want to enter the ocean, jump into the whirlpools. You will find the village elder in his house. He is the most respected person here. They keep spinning and spinning. Finally, it took you long enough. I'm the elder of this village. I got to my exalted station in life by pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well. A star has fallen into the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. You must find it for me. Very normal. Oh, right, you. Hello there, you're Mario, right? Do you remember me? We met at Tadpole Pond when I was still a tadpole. Sure. I've graduated from the Frog Sage's school, and now I'm searching for the meaning of life. It's been so quiet around here, it's almost eerie. Is something going on? Probably doesn't concern me, but if you have any frog coins, I've got some neat items to sell. Oh, yeah. You can start a battle over or run from battles. Sort of thing. And also, EXP booster, coin trick, flower ring, I forgot these existed. I could actually afford the experience point booster. Hmm. Six can be read as Mu and nine can be read as Ku. That's 100% why they named it that then, because it was the Muku cookie originally. I just forgot that, that that was probably the original price of it too, and I just forgot about it. That just has a bunch of other connotations on the modern internet that I don't appreciate very much anymore. Is all. Uh, hmm. It is tempting to buy the experience booster and like power level peach or something. 
But it is also, it could also be interesting to have both of these. Maybe that would be useful? I don't know. Probably not. I'm gonna actually try that. I don't, actually, will that just make everyone get more experience? It should, right? I don't know exactly how this works out. No, you... Yeah, I guess you can have that. Why not? Bowser will just destroy everything. I don't think you can buy any weapons here. There is nothing of interest here. Don't bother looking inside. You may not enter here. This is a restricted area. I don't think you can buy any weapons here. At the Maybe you can. A star has fallen into the sea. The pirate, probably. When the item is used, the party summons a throw fur, who tries to hit a member of the party, but fails. It then hurts itself by throwing a bomb, causing a bird to circle its head and the throw fur to cry. Once it retreats, all party members recover Muku HP and are healed of their status ailments. Mario can buy one in Seaside Town for Muku coins while everything is very normal. <laughs> True. I forgot that it also healed you for that much. In the middle of the ocean is a pirate ship. You'll find a- I mean, there's- I forgot to read the other dialogue. A pirate lives there. His name is Jonathan Jones. He isn't very nice. I mean, that man, uh, Jonathan Jones, probably has it. He's nasty. That's probably the weapon shop later. The sea. But first... I want to check a few things. The Muku Cookie's importance is primarily because of the funny animation that I want to see if it's still the same. Okay, you can go over here now. I am the gardener! See that huge planter? I've spent many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer to fill it with, but had no luck. Only I could find them. I don't remember exactly where those are, but I don't think they're like super out of the way. But they are very important, so... Having a legendary fertilizer is kind of a funny concept. Wait, there was another thing I wanted to check here. I don't remember when the Easter eggs happen. And I'm, I think they're in Rosetown? Hmm, maybe I should check. Oh, right, I'm just gonna get a million... A million, uh... Articles about this that are AI-generated. Oh, you have to- you have to actually, like, take a nap at the end at certain times. I don't know if it'll work now. It does work now. Hello, Link, from Zelda. That's him. Hmm. Okay, this the the other one is after defeating the boss in Seaside Town, so it doesn't exist yet. Yeah, from Zelda. Link's not awakening. Because he's sleeping, you see. I think that was just the only thing I wanted to check right now.
Right, there's like a fast travel system or something, isn't there? I don't remember how to use it. <laughs> oh, you can just use the map here, that's right. That's it. Anyway, welcome to the sea. Welcome to the funny wizards. Been a while since people came around here. Oh no, I don't have any money. A classic Mario toss attack. Well, the work pants just really do be giving you big attack power, huh? You know what? I'll just sell this now. I should probably invest more in defenses at this point. So. I don't know why Gino's capes are so bad, though. What the heck? Gino can still have the work pants and stuff. Since you shopped here, I'll tell you this. The ship sank into the briny sea because a giant squid attacked. Some people went to survey it, but they never came back. Something about this area just being sea is kind of funny. Oh, right. I didn't look at the monsters of Star Hill yet. Let's learn about them. Whenever the Throfers living on Star Hill look at the shooting stars that fall around them, they wish that the world was theirs. Gecko. Their eyes aren't spiraling because they're dizzy. It's because they're so paralyzed trying to decide between all the attacks at their disposal. <laughs> they have like three, I think but like understandable mood. Mastodoom, a new third theory has arisen in the debate whether mastodooms are mammoths or elephants, but the evidence for it is pretty bare bones. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Sacket, like crooks, sackets run away on, a, on quick legs. If a crook and sacket, a sacket met, which do you think would flee first? The sacket, because they have a higher speed stat. Pulsar. We've already covered the Pulsar's idiosyncrasies in their thought peak. Feel free to look it up the next time you meet one. <laughs> That's funny. What do you mean we've already covered it in their thought peak, by the way? Implying that thoughts are written by someone else? or something. Mario kick of the this, this star. Oh yeah, Bowser magic level. Everyone loves those. Peach does a little curtsy. She's very polite. Peach needs HP. Zeo Star and Blooper. That was not Thought Peak. My brain stopped working. That's fine, there's plenty more enemies. Throw Mario again. Or don't. I need to go spray my dishes. That kind of implies that you spray your dishes with ink, which seems odd. Everyone's getting magic recently. God, this, I, the smaller, the smaller placeholder Mario 
Still pretty funny, though. Lyukos. I don't think these had eyes before, and they were just, like, ominous, out-of-place jellyfish. Can you believe I get confused with those no-good star slaps? Yeah. Oh wow, that actually did a fair amount. Oh jeez. Ah jeez. Uh, why are you going twice? Why are you going twice twice? Stop it! This game's scary now. They made this game scary. Why'd they do that? What's the jellyfish thinking about them? Let's face it, I can't keep drifting forever. Hmm. I think I, I guess I did get the... It's not obvious when you time that one correctly. I don't... Does fear... Does fear debuff magic attack? Or just attack? I don't remember. Forgot about the timing on that being weird. I think the experience thing is working for everybody, probably. By the way, I wonder if the level cap is still 20. Sleepy time. Peach needs more HP. As many HP as she can have. Thank you. Oh, you can go up here. That's fun. There's probably no reason for that, but you can. Check out my boosted scary move. I don't actually know if that did more or not. Jeez. Ow. Oh, that's helpful, actually. There's the, there's the decoy Mario. He just like pulls it out of a pocket that he totally has if Mario's status affected. I forgot it worked for like poison as well. I thought Mario had to be KO'd. Gino Whirl! Do you think that still has the funny prank of 9999 that it can do sometimes that I don't remember why or how? Oh wow, you can just group hug to heal everybody. 
I don't remember how the special Geno world deletion technique works. If you get it perfect. Hmm. Being underwater is noisy. Got a max mushroom. Neat. Mr. Kipper, everyone's favorite Mario enemy. Bloop flop, don't get caught. That's quite possible. Bloopers are what bloopers are called in the- Are they called bloopers and I just didn't realize it? Where's Yoshi? Oh god, like quadrupled EXP. Maybe. Maybe Peach has to be in the fight for that to work. I have no idea. Oh. Mario, go up. Mario, go down. this song a lot actually there's a page from the travel log we're done for a giant squid just got a hold of us this ship's going down fast time for lots of fun enemy types to show up like the greeper Can I use tab? Can I have just a tiny bit of your soul? No. Pure water. The door to the cellar is locked with the six letter password. To get inside, you'll have to figure out the password using the six hints. You know, if you if you don't know it already from uh, I like a lot of the Mario RPG enemies a lot, by the way, did you know that? Like this funky fella. More and more I've been thinking about returning to the soil. What is it? Why does it say one or more? I summon the sheep. Big sheep. Oh no, all enemies have unique sleeping sprites now. They put a lot of effort into this, huh? Also, status effects are good in this game? I didn't know that. Whenever I reach out my hand, there you are. Just slap a ghost to defeat it. Don't slap me though, please. I wouldn't be happy about that. I'd be quite sad, actually. I should try this. That one's always really difficult to time. It seems even more sudden now than it was before. You missed. It was always kind of difficult to tell what was going on with the sprite of the Reacher as well. Like what was behind the grave. 
But now that they fall over in plain sight when de destroyed, I guess it's easy to tell what the rest of the enemy design is. Dry bones. What does a dry bones think about? Put me together, I fall apart. Always leave them wanting more. The fact that they read as having zero health is interesting. I don't remember how you work. You have to use a special attack? Yes. Maybe. Yes. Here's a page from the travel log. Uncover the secret of the six hints. Since they're provided by different people, they'll be tough to solve, maybe impossible. Special dry bones. That's just silly. We need to see other specials. Spare us all. So that's what that part is from. Sure. And you can see Mario has a little shield icon. Hey, I think status effects are really good in this version of Mario RPG. I don't know if they were before. But like, geez. Can't block, or can you? Aha! Whoa. Seeing that in new graphics was scary. Maybe? I actually, I need to pay more attention to the experience to see if Peach is getting double or if everybody is getting double. Power Peach. Peach is now higher level than everyone else, so I think I just answered my own question. Actually. <laughs> Peach at the beach, I guess, yeah. What if rats were pink? Huh? What then? What's that big Mario guy doing looking at little old me? Stranding does that? That's weird. <laughs> that seems so tonally dissonant from what I would expect from Death Stranding, not knowing much about it. So yeah, Peach was getting more experience than everyone else and is now higher level than everyone. Unintentionally. Enigmax! You were called something else before, but I don't remember what it was. Group up? Yeah, right. Can we go home yet? I'm hungry.
Wait, it's totally consistent? Huh. Those mice scamper up and down the stairs for no reason. They're having a great time. They were originally called Gorgons? Oh yeah. I remember that now. Thanks for checking. Oops. I think if you throw Mario with the Hurley Glove and miss, you should just keep going and leave the battle. Mario kept going and crashed. Yeah, I don't... I never bother with these, so I have no freaking idea how these work. At all. I did it! I don't know what I did. The Adventure Indigo's Memo. There is an S in the word. I'm glad these are just as jank looking as they used to be with the button floating in the air and all that. Okay, so that does a lot of damage, but it is single target. I forgot about exactly how that worked. Uh, is there a triple move we haven't seen yet? I don't think there is. I think we've seen all of them now. Okay, so you get good rewards for these. The Adventure Indigo Juniors Memo. It is found on the bed of the ocean. Oh no, the 3D maze is specially marked as the 3D maze. Welcome to the worst. Press minus to give up. Oh, Mario's over here now. Whoop, I fell. This has got to be like a funny joke prank, right? Like, you're not expected to seriously solve this in any sort of way at all? Probably. You're on, you're on level zero. Do you wish to give up? I'll try a little more. I give up. Okay, that just puts you at the start. I have no idea how you're expected to do this. What lessons are you meant to take from this structure? I can't find my way back up anywhere. There I am.
No, I'm back down here, I think. Oh. I did a Royal Syrup. The second expedition team's memo. It has two vowels. I mean, that is a true statement. That is a lesson to learn. So I already know what the password is in advance, by the way. In case you were wondering. Because it's probably the same. I think if you want to grind for frog coins, dry bones are like by far the best bet in the entire game is what I'm learning here. Hey, it's good to see you. Oh, you still have the... Oh, party cleanse. I didn't realize that was a thing. That could be helpful. I should buy... Oh, you can only carry six pick-me-ups, eh? I'll give you a hint. The password's got something to do with the sea. Even if you don't get through all six of the obstacles, you can try to deduce your way through. Good luck. I don't think I've ever done all six obstacles before, but they don't seem that bad. Fear sickle. Right, right. That. I don't know if fear debuffs magic power. It doesn't feel like it does. Ow. Bowser learned poison gas. Ho hooray. Poison might be good too now. I don't know. Here's just attack and defense. Fair enough. I I'm presuming you don't want to collect the final coin too early. This would be a good way to get free money, I guess. I missed one. I... nope. not a game with precision built into it, really. Nor is precision my strong suit. Wait, is that not the puzzle? Did I have to wait for it to get to the end? Did I collect it like a split second too early? This seems silly. I've never bothered with this. There we go. The search party Onyx's memo. It is very valuable.
Hey, Mallow's pretty powerful sometimes. By the way. Quick pick me up in the storage box. Mushroom. The fourth investigation crew's memo. It's it is actually a they. See, it's plural is what that means. It is a plural of an object. Treasure Hunter Elan's memo. The R comes before the L. You know, actually, some of the uh, some of the treasure hunter names were also clues because of what the thing is. Let's see if come up with the key letters speaking here. It's pearls. Password you entered is pearls. Good job, I'll let you through if you can get past me first, that is. So really the only one of those trials that's like bad is the um, the 3D maze. You're not going to eat me, are you? No. I remember they have a weakness to fire. Because of course they do. I pressed it way too early. I gotta try poison gas, I guess. Wow. Something about it poisoning these surprised me. Oh no. I forgot you could do that. Big old googly eyes. I mean, you did before. I don't remember if there were tentacles. There were tentacles in this phase, surely.
This ship's mine, scram! Oh yeah. Oh no! I should have waited to time that with firing the shot. Everyone is sad except for Princess Peach, who's fine. Now she's poisoned, though. In the randomizer, whatever takes the King Calamari spot is slightly infamous because the way the randomizer's code works involves like adjusting stats of whatever boss gets put in a spot based on the stats of whatever boss was there and in king calamari's case it adds all of the hp of all of the targets together so whatever goes here has a billion health I've never, I've only played the randomizer like a little bit, like one time, but I've absorbed knowledge about it from secondhand sources. Actually, there's like this special animation for going back through the boss corridor before. And yet there still is, okay. Good to know. There he goes, there's Super Mario. I just wanted to check that. Mice with guns! They're cannons, specifically. Okay, so... Right, these, like, knock you down there if you get hit by them, instead of... initiating combat. Or they push you in a very weird way. I think you get fully healed after a boss fight, because I have full FP. I definitely did use some, I think. I missed the button. Once again. Except not. Oh, yay, Diamond Song. I didn't know you could block that. I say, oh, yay, because that was always one of the more iconic attacks from this game for me, to some reason. Or to me, for some reason. There's something about the way the saws animate or something. Oh, yeah, this one. I wonder if all of these that are blockable could be blocked before or not. 
That is knowledge I don't have. Special enemy with the very powerful throw a bone attack doing 85 is pretty wild. I pressed it way too early that time. That's fine. Ah! Mario get obliterated! Jeez. 136. You know Special enemy status is scary. Each giving Bowser therapy is probably funny. Or something. Oh, you can skip these. You can skip the animations if you want. I never noticed that before. I probably won't in the future, but it's good that that's there. Come back! Revive a pal! If all goes well, it'll heal them fully. Heart. Peach will eventually have more HP than everyone else, maybe, at this rate, which is good. Ah, there was a something back there. Oops. Oh, they stopped. They stopped. Well, they're still going, kinda. They're just, they're just really excited. Anyway. Oh, you can just talk to them? Hold on. I don't want that. Can I make them come back? Well, I've, I've accidentally locked myself out of this hidden treasure forever. That's fun. I think it's like a frog coin or something. But you, you have to use the Mario double to jump up to... Oh, never mind. Wait, what? No, you do have to use the Mario double. But I can't now. Unless that respawns when you leave the area. Or something. Like, leave the area entirely. I don't know. I might have lost a treasure for all of time. Wait, there's a door there. I forgot. I could have used this on, like, the special enemy reacher. Got a freebie. Hmm. 
Why not? Pure water... I don't know why it is, but I remember that being something that gives a freebie very often, so... Oh, that's just a frog coin. Also, I have the signal ring on, like, somebody who's not in the party right now. No, it's on Bowser. Never mind. One of these is a, is a monster in a box. It's the other one. <laughs> Whoa! -oh. That's true about pure water. Okay, I like the new naming scheme for the monster in a box enemies. Ugh. Weakness to jump. I'm pretty strong, right? You're thinking about running away, right? Right? But are you immune to shenanigans? Yes. Ah, uh, mini Goombas were inside. Big hits come in micro packages. That's what a mini Goomba sounds like, I guess. the safety badge. Prevents mute, scarecrow, fear, poison, mushroom, sleep, and poison. Also, it gives some stats, I believe. With the signal ring no longer equipped, I no longer have to Pretend I care about hidden treasures. Or, well, I, w I do care about them when it tells me that they're there, and now I don't have to be told that they're there, so I won't care anymore. Rather. It's a strategic choice of equipment decision making. You see. Mario's going real slow. He's going. Here he goes. Is it over here? No. There's another secret somewhere, I think. Maybe somewhere in this section? I do not remember. Oh! Rusty. Krusty was an enemy that was kind of hard to tell what was going on with them before, too. And now they appear to be like a robotic crab, so... Oh no, I missed. Oh wait, no I didn't. Floppy floop in a netted hoop! I'm, I didn't miss, it just made the sound weird. Uh... Yeah. I, that was a miss, though. Using Bowser's status effect moves is weird. But I'm choosing to do that.
It's weird in that I didn't do it before. What do you mean, ridiculous lobster submarine? I didn't know there was such a thing. That sounds great. I didn't realize that the water was distorting Mario, but look at this Mario face. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a pretty good Mario. That's a, that's a that's an A plus Martin right there. Yeah, that's more of a Mayro than a Martin. You're right. Is it over here? Yeah, it is. There, you can see the door here. Here we go. Is this like a safety pin, I think? Safety ring. I was close. Guards against mortal blows. I don't know how often that happens. Oh, you know, that's fair. What if Mallow just ended a fight? Several times. That vehicle sounds pretty incredible. It's a good thing Mario got the blessing of the Kojin and can breathe underwater. Ah, what's going on here? Who are you? What? You're looking for a star? I'll let you see stars. Aha! Anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls into the sea becomes Johnny's property. Got that, matey? Oh, and one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it? I don't think you have lips. The Apparatus of Qualish. That sounds vaguely familiar somehow. I love the color red! Couldn't tell. Well. You do very little damage. Also, rotating the control stick is way easier than rotating the D-pad was. Having the feedback of the little meter that fills up also helps. Yeah, the, these sharks are pretty good. Ah, you're stronger than you look. Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates. All right, where's the intruder? I don't see him. Did he get away? There he is. Get him, boys. Here, this is on us. What the? How dare you dodge the barrel? <laughs> That's a great line. Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? Well, your luck has run out. We don't take kindly to strangers here. Cool. Bye. 
Wow, six health. You're pretty tough, mate. All right, I'll let you through to Johnny's place. You're pretty tough, mate. Time for HD Johnny. So you're the Mario, huh, eh? Ha ha ha! Not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. Just lean. It's <laughs> anyone's call. That is the word of the guy who was hated by the god of failure. Just lean. No one here is thinking that hard. Death is king now. Men hunted to waste life's grace. It is a fool who hides. Because everyone is his eyes and ears. That's the uh, theme of Johnny from Guilty Gear Strive, you see. Wait. I guess that is kind of like a Kigurumi. I firmly believe blue is best, but I may change my mind. He's also got a gold medallion of the no symbol. It is unclear exactly what is going on with Johnny. Now, if you defeat all of if you defeat all of the uh the minions, this becomes a 1v1 against Mario. Which is something we traditionally want to avoid. You're good, very good. Now this is a fight. So we'll defeat some of them, I guess. Probably inevitably defeat the last one by mistake. Both of these attacks hit everybody. I have to do Mario Gino Mallow to only hit one person. Get tough! I'm so glad it's still called Get Tough. Oh! He's so squishy when I jump on him. I guess all enemies probably do that with the jump, right? And I just haven't been thinking about it. was too early. I missed, apparently. That was still too early, I think. It's time for the throw fruit cookie. <laughs> Just because I haven't seen it yet. I'm glad the animation is 
It's like slightly faster than it used to be, I think. I think. That was still too... That's a really specific timing, I think. I want to... Well, I didn't get the timing right, but I did kill Johnny. Sure. I almost accidentally picked the wrong one because of... You know, like, just pressing the control stick too many times. Instant kill timing being right as the Geno disc leaves the screen. That, that is an interesting thing to watch. I will try that if I try it again. I'm impressed, matey. You've earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fights. I'm going to assume that Neo Squid is no longer called Neo Squid. But if I'm wrong, then I will be happy. Because that would be very funny to me. By the way, this game goes at a at a pretty brisk pace. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. Johnny's voice is all over the place for me. Johnny's our main man. He f even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. Hop on the trampoline in the next room. It'll take you outside. Go on now, give it a try. I never noticed the... There's like a hook on the table, and also like a potion bottle, I guess. And a quill, and a... Piece of paper with a shark on it, I guess. Mario is now the pirate captain. Wait. Oh. You can look at it. This is 100% currant juice. It's mighty tasty stuff, mate! I... Didn't know you could... Examine that? It might be Isle Delfino. I was thinking that. Okay, you can use the shoulder buttons to go through this faster. Let's learn about enemies from the sea in the ship. I am not a five. I'm not a seven either. Zeo Star the sixth. Because the, the Star Slap also had a haiku. Maybe they use Ink Blast, which deals 150% normal damage, because their normal attacks aren't enough. You could say they're a, a sucker for a strong attack. <laughs> you could. We tried to do an interview about the origin of Mr. Kipper's name, but he just skipped around without answering us. The bubble it uses is a trusty way of defending itself when it hasn't fought in a while and it's, it is getting rusty. It's the sweat secreted when it's flustered. Gross. Also, it's a robot, so what? The tips of their legs are bent because they're always crouching. Rarely one will stand up straight and everyone excitedly says, Look at that! God. Damn it. <laughs> Extremely rules card type reaction to that one. All right, Greeper. They love souls and use their sickles to swiftly harvest the souls of their enemies. But what do they do with the souls once they have them? That is also an easy joke, that's true. The book Psychoanalysis theorizes that their use of moves that transform others into mushrooms and scarecrows reveals their own desire to transform. Hmm. The way they throw dreadfully big bones with their dreadfully long arms is so dreadful that one might think of them as otherworldly. 
The bones they throw can't be their own, surely. They look like they would collapse if they threw their own bones. They must be special special bones for throwing. Yeah. I agree with that emoji. Which emote, rather, I guess. They are rather strong for their small size, and their bite attack is deadlier than you'd think. They're good at manual labor, and always wear gloves. They are bats despite being pigs, and pigs despite being bats, a group despite being singular, and singular despite being a group. Tentacle, left. Though they all look identical, some are considered left or right tentacles based on the direction that they grow. Wait. There's another there's another thought peak that I didn't get because the tentacles are like this. I didn't know that. Yeah, that does sound like it's probable. I would agree. I don't know too many people who are plural, but I wouldn't doubt that that describes at least one system. Though they all look identical, some are considered left or right tentacles based on the direction they grow. These have a firm springiness when chewed. These are softer and easier to chew on. So I missed tentacle left. He loves squeezing his limber body into incredibly tight, incredibly tight spaces. You could say he's gotten into getting into things. <laughs> you could say that if you wanted to. What oh Worried about what might be in the box? You should be. It's a what oh They're always watching you. That's very similar to the whole what. Wait. Mini Goomba. Smaller, normal, smaller than normal text. They're very small. I had to double back to the previous entry to double check that the text size was lowered. I love it. Where are your ben red de bandana proud? Sing our song and sing it loud. We're carefree pirates. Yo ho, yo ho ho. Where are your blue bandana proud? Stand fast against every wave and cloud. Yo ho, yo ho ho. Does Johnny have a theme song? I mean, of course he does. Johnny bested the man-eating shark that terrorized the seas, thereby ruling the oceans. I have become king of the pirates, he thought. So, is Johnny wearing a corpse and not a Kigurumi? Is Johnny wearing the corpse of the shark? Scary! Is that the one you were wanting me to see earlier? Because you said that there was one monster list entry somewhere, and you said, replied to that one in all caps, so. So I missed one entry. Oh no, not this one? Okay, so that's the surprise for you. Okay. That's fair. Mario's over here now. Sharks arriving to, in the Mushroom Kingdom in that way is a funny idea. Hey, 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 you found the star. Well done. Mm. But your journey ends here. You're so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Spiritovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder my impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Get serious. So that's how you want to play it? What do you think will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? What are you doing? No, don't do that. No, please stop. Ah! I think they're just tickling, but still. Now, isn't it a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled like this? Right, yeah. Alright, I'll hand it over then beat you up, it's fine. Do not torture, please. 
And to think I got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius, it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. Yeah, Spirit of Itch, I think Yari is Spear anyway. I think is the reason for this. All right, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. There they go. I should probably save. Spiritovich was always kind of a slightly difficult boss fight, if I remember correctly. Previously known as Yuridovich. The blade's late! What's taking it so long? We need to get out of here! This is just great! Mario caught up with us! Only one thing we could do now, although we may r rust a little, we'll have to swim for it! Not so fast there! That star is a gift to me mate, Mario! You spineless dogs have no code of honor! We'll make you walk the plank! Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. Hey, I guess we'll have to take off- I guess we'll have to take our disguises off now! Group formation! Spirit of Itch. Weak to lightning. If I lose, I can kiss that promotion goodbye. Right, Water Blast is one of your very scary moves. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. I was too early on that one. You're doing it again immediately? <laughs> okay. I freaking guess. Uh, that's fine. You're legally allowed to kill me in the video game, I guess. Please do not kill me in other contexts or ever, preferably. Use your items, by the way. Wow, that didn't do very much at all. There we go. One of them is marked, and the other one is not. Well, okay, no, that's... I don't remember how you tell them apart, but I think this is one way to do it. That's the real one, I think. That's a cool attack. Can I tell him a fake?
Ah, oh, it was early again. Yeah, they're just spear fishing, clearly. Uh oh. Early again. I guess it's possible that Johnny could be a toad. I don't see why not. That missed two people. Somehow. I think the targeting indicator is also telling me... Well, no, maybe not. That's the real one. The targeting indicator might switch to the fake one then. And yeah, the thank you is a very good a good little detail. Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? Got Chedki. Oh, there's a little extra piano riff. Ew, thanks so much! I've had enough of cramped, dirty old places like this. Hey, fella, you got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. It was mighty unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, stop on by. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to get back to work now, but stop by the inn. See you there. Ah, oh, Mario. Thank you for saving our little so town of Seaside. They did torture me a little, but it's nothing to worry about. Here, this is for you. Flower jar. I think you get worse flower rewards if you keep saying no to the previous prompt. So you might, you might get a better one if you just say yes immediately. I forgot exactly what happened, so I said no to see what happened. I'm so relieved that all the townspeople were all right in the end. Can you believe he didn't just kidnap him? He had the nerve to lock him up too? Me and my minions would never pull a stunt like that. Peach head tilt. Really? I seem to recall a certain someone kidnapping me not too long ago. Ah, uh, but no one got hurt, right? It's all's well that ends well. <laughs> Come on, let's scram already. The mold in here is bad for my sensitive nostrils. Here, here. We should see the sights in town now that it's back to normal. Maybe someone here can point us to the next star piece. I don't remember that dialogue. Existing there. But it certainly feels in character for the game if it didn't before. A youngster for ta from Tadpole Pond recently moved here for good. True. Oh yeah. Welcome to Beetles R Us. We run a beetle business here. Want an explanation? 
Okay, I'll explain the system. First, you need to purchase a beetle box, which will cost you 50 coins. Then go to Booster Hill, where there are many beetles. If you bring back the beetle box filled with beetles, you can trade them in for coins and frog coins. Check the menu list for more information. I forgot about this. Male beetles, 50 coins. Female beetles, 1 coin. Golden beetle, 1 frog coin. I guess male beetle beetles must be more rare, or something. Mario, how nice of you to stop by. It's quite a trek from your place, isn't it? Out here, there aren't many people passing through, so it gets awful lonely sometimes. Please rest up before you go. It'll only cost you 15 coins. Nope. Some other time, then. Have a safe trip. I'm already at maximum health. I hear there's a strange shop in this town that's looking for beetles. Welcome to my weapon shop! <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. This is like... all. Oh, they actually marked Lucky Hammer as not just Hammer. It was just Hammer before. Kick with it! So... This is the same attack power as the Masher, but it probably has less variance or something, right? A stat that they don't show you? Does anyone know this? Ribbit stick. It'll come in handy. Double punch. Inflict serious pain. Yeah, all right, sure. You don't need any. You don't need any more of this item. That's an interesting thing. Anyone know if the if the uh, paratrooper shell is different from the masher in some way, like less damage variance or whatever? I have like a million dollars, so I might as well buy it anyways. Maybe we'll find out together. Please come in and browse. I'm running an armor shop. Masher's the only weapon with super variance, that's... that makes sense. Happy Shell. It's fun that they sell all of the weapons and armor that have existed so far. Well, mostly. Hi, Mario! We got a lot of health foods at our store. You gotta treat your body right. Isn't one of these a store that only sells a mushroom? Hey, 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 I'm the Mushroom Boy! Did you know that hidden amongst the regular mushrooms are some special ones? Unreal, huh? They give you items in return for those special mushrooms. But you gotta taste them to find out what kind they are, so I'll take a nibble first. I'm hoping for a special mushroom, but even if it isn't, at least I'll get a meal out of it. You have any mushrooms? I think so. Hey, far out! Munch, munch. Whoa, This is most excellent! It's a flower mushroom! Give you a flower tab for it. Hey, thanks, dude! Hey, far out! That was just a regular mushroom. Thanks for the snack. How many mushrooms do I have? Hey, you don't have any mushrooms. Okay. So the paratrooper shell is probably a better idea. Oh, hello there. You were so brave to rescue us, and I'm so thankful. But listen, maybe it's time you thought a little more about what you wear. Accessorizing is big business these days. See anything you like? I forgot you could buy Zoom Shoes. Not that I really need to. I mean... What does Gino even have? Oh, Lazy Shell has a way... has a huge variation too, but it's still like the strongest weapon anyway, so... Yeah, um, I think the mushroom lottery there is specifically the forest maze mushrooms that you can pick up. And sometimes they give you a special attack item that you can't get anywhere else that was called a rock candy in the original. Oh, you just have the true form pen. Uh, these accessories are probably fine for now. Mario, if it's a star you're looking for, I may be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day, and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. Don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. 
Yes, we're almost there. Monstro Town is like my favorite place. I really like the song of it, and also Culex is there, so, you know. Culex, Culex. Whatever you wish to. I've never seen the sea before. It sure is vast. Definitely worth the trip. Well, Monstro Town is the place that I'm excited about. Land's End is the place you have to go through to get there. Maybe Land's End is cool too, though, I guess. It's got ants. <laughs> it's got ants. I just remembered. I'm supposed to be doing fast travel through this map instead. I feel like this is a game I could just keep playing for a long time. By the way, it's almost been five hours, apparently. Wait, it's not... I meant... I need to go... Here. It's fun to watch? That's good, I'm glad. Hey, what do you think? Avoid fighting the pointy monsters on Star Hill. I mean... No. Hey, you. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. All right, yes, I'm done. You want this? It's only 500 coins. I missed the dialogue box because I was mashing. Well, sure. Want me to teach you? Yes, please. I score if you hit the shells with the stars fired from the beetle. If you get hit, recover by firing continuously. Just do it. Oh, you're no fun. Beetle. You can now play the pre-owned game Beetle Mania! Try to get a high score! Play it by selecting Play Game from the menu. They did the- they made the best possible choice with this remake of this part, where they did not change the graphics in the slightest. This is just exactly the same as it looked before, but it has like a Game Boy border now. In the pause menu, down, up, right, left, L, R, L, R, B. I didn't know about that. I guess I'll try that. It is painful to mash the button this much. Oh, that's a code that wasn't translated before? Anyway, you get the idea. So... Down, up, right, left, L, R, L, R, B. You found a secret code! The results of the code were not translated. I wonder what it did. Let's check your stats. Huh, looks like nothing changed. Well, maybe it gave you some experience? Nope, that's still the same too. I'll level with you. There aren't any other codes, and this one will do the same thing every time. So I'm always happy to hang out with you if you want to try it again. That's all for the secret code! So it does nothing. I never knew about that. That's very funny. So if you use that in the Super Nintendo version, is the text not translated? Or was the code just not known about? Oh. 
I see. Okay, I like that Samus' sleeping animation is like venting from her helmet. I'm resting up from other brain. Samus is here too. Samus in full armor sleeping in a bed is funny. I keep forgetting about the fast travel. You cannot jump to places you have not visited. I'm not... I, I was concerned they'd remove Kulex, but they didn't. I know that. God, these funny cannons, that's right. Dogs. Many new enemies are here to look at. I missed. One can't stray from one's nature. Oh, that is a weird timing that I forgot about. Oh, it's Mario! I'm fighting Mario! Me! Dog is very excited. I wonder if the masher would just be considered better, honestly. Difficult to tell. You were fighting Mario, and now you're... Now you've been defeated by Mario. Octo Vader. The key to the thought peak timing is that it's later than you think. Even an octopus can fly if it tries! I think the masher is like easier to time, at least, so. Right, the ribbit stick. Yeah, but it may also go higher than the Troopa Shell. And it just feels better to time it than it does for the shell, truthfully. I don't remember what this is about. Bezo. The fact that they're actually called Bezos like the Mario Land enemies. They used to be like Fly Guy or something, probably. I guess Bezos were in Mario 2? Maybe? La dee da! <laughs> the Gekkit is confused. Right, they do that. 
Chewy. I wanted to be just a normal flower. Oh, special enemies can run, apparently. Mildly rude. Ah. That was- oh, you are a special enemy. I was gonna say that wasn't even a special enemy, but... You know. <laughs> I do whatever I want! That Gek is having a great time. I miss. Bowser is dead forever. I'm not venomous. Trust me. Rip, I guess. It was when it left the screen, though it went through the wall. It didn't instant kill, though. Also, I got another move immediately. Pressed it really early there. Could be special enemies are immune to instant death flag. Scarecrow fangs. I didn't remember that being a thing. Scarecrow has hit before, yes. That's- that timing is like the most precise one. Bracer. That's a... Yeah, that's a defense up. Scarecrow has hit, though. Uh, I think twice. I think we've seen scarecrows twice so far. Ah, I forgot that they invented orange bees. And also fink flowers are here. That's not the right button. I thought I was doing a special. I got confused again somehow. Anyway, that's fine. Pucker up for a bruising heart. I won't. Die. Non-binary is pretty great. The buzzer is about to sound for you! <laughs> okay. You know what? Sure. I love the parasol double hit. Speaking of parasols, 
The next season of Splatoon is finally adding a second undercover umbrella. The worst weapon in the game, yeah! Unless they, maybe they'll buff it. And also the new one has like a way better kit. I might try to play Splatoon again just to insist on using the Sorella undercover umbrella. Maybe. I'm gonna, like, make a point of not skipping these most of the time for now. That one's pretty good. The, the freaking Mario Strikers attack that that does. Wait, what's this little side? Oh, this is just, this is where you fall down. Oh, but there's a prize. They are absolutely summon animation, like, for sure. Welcome to the Sky Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Want to challenge it? Okay, I'll need five coins from you. Need an explanation? You can cross the Sky Bridge in one of three ways. So if you fall, if you fall at any time, you'll lose. On the normal coast course, the blocks won't fall. You can jump to the next block by tilting left stick in the direction you're going, then pressing B. You'll get five coins for that. On the special course, jumping works the same as the normal course, but the blocks will fall if you stand on them too long. You'll get eight coins there. On the expert course, the blocks will fall and the jumps are harder. You'll get a frog coin there. You ought to jump to avoid the bullet guys. Cool mini game. Yahoo! You want to double your winnings? No. Here you go. But more importantly, Jeez. <laughs> Stop killing Bowser! Why are the spiders all special? Why are you doing this? Also, Mario resists sleep, apparently. That's exactly the same sound effects as it used to make. Once again! You know, I should have guessed that the spider would be immune to poison, probably. By the way, the, the control stick and the little indicator there matches your rotations of it in like speed and direction which i think is fun i can't believe mario's dead again Good grief. Good thing Princess Peach is here to like instantly fix all problems.
The lazy shell armor does, for the record, make her heals less powerful. Ultra jump! Magic Bowser. Yeah. Cool mushrooms. Wait. Dog in the corner. I... Maybe I'm misremembering, but I feel like this cave was less involved before, but maybe I'm making that up. I think I'm making that up. I think it probably had this entire section before. What's this frog thinking about? My dad, Frogug, says hi. You know, understandable. Yeah, this section was almost certainly here before. And I simply forgot about it. Cause like the main thing is that. Got the cricket jam. I don't think there was a way to easily return afterwards before. I think that's new. Like, maybe that barrel didn't exist or something? Don't take my word for it. My memory isn't super great. Now we're over here. said it already, but I'm like, I'm becoming more and more sure that enemy resistances are something that was not this notable before. Things taking one from Thunderbolt. Snowy, a snowman fells foes. It'll be interesting looking at other people play through this when I'm done with it. Because there are people who are more Mario RPG knowers than I am that would be able to more readily identify differences. Bowser's a mushroom now. I think the snowman got rounder. Gino Blast! Finally, more AoEs are appearing. Oh. Oh, wait, no. I don't know what I was processing numbers as in that brief moment. I just tried to hold Y to run, which is not a feature of this game. So I think you can hold a button to walk, actually. Yeah.
your minigame means nothing to me. Farewell. Ah, haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Where are you heading? Is it Monstro Town by any chance? Yes. Okay, listen up. Look for the whirl where the ant pops up and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monstro Town's just around the corner. See you there. This seems like a reasonable time to uh, be right back again. So why not? And that of course also means
Congratulations to the winners and condolences to the losers. And oh no, for falling asleep and then slam dunking the wrong answer at the last second. I had a silly thought while I was away for two minutes or whatever, however long I was away. Three, four minutes, probably. Imagine something like this game combined with something like Mario Teaches Typing or Typing of the Dead, where all the action commands were like, for attacking and defense were like, just having to type the right word. I think that would be funny. That's the thought. The thought is over now. That's the wrong... I didn't mean to go in there. Typing of the Dead does that? I mean, like, it's not an RPG with attack and defense action commands, is all. Scared them to death. It's expensive, but it works. Hmm. I actually don't know if it's good if you go in the one that they just... I think that's bad. I... The hitboxes on these are weird. It turns out. Oh? Hey! That's right! It's formless! I didn't know where you were exactly. I have a secret! By the way, boss music. Okay, what if I do this? Whoa. <laughs> Gas Ox! You were previously like Mokula, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Mokura, okay. I, 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 I mixed up the L and R instead of that being the translation. This is like the only random enemy that gets boss music, by the way. 
I think. Maybe not. The only... I can't add qualifiers to that without explaining something later. <laughs> yeah, there's just like a random weird cloud in Land's End sometimes that turns into this after being invisible for a second. Never seen this before though, huh? Interesting. I don't think there's like much of a benefit to this battle, but it does exist. Okay, 30 experience isn't bad, I guess. These answer a mystery that doesn't make sense. I didn't even realize there was a shadow. I mean, yeah, that's what the game says. The game tells you to do that. It's just, it's, there's a little bit weird. There's a little, there's a fair amount of weirdness with how it works. There's a unique interaction if you jump on them. Let's take this time to look at stuff. Before Star Piece, we track the fourth Star Piece to Star Hill, a sacred place where stars fall. We must find the remaining pieces quickly for the sake of the ungranted wishes resting here. Something seems kind of off about the people in Seaside Town. Very important elders self-importantly told us a shooting star fell into the sea. What an important guy! Oh, there's, there's entries for Link and Samus. Someone heroic was sleeping in the Rose Town Inn. I bet he's tired from his legends or adventures. <laughs> but I'd like to link up with him and chat over a Tadpola Cola. Funny pun joke. A giant, a giant squid and pirates stood in our way, but we wrested the star from a passionate fellow called Johnny Jones and got the fifth star piece. Now to report to Seaside Town's Elbit. With Johnny Jones' gracious aid, we beat the Craven Spiritovich. The town and the star piece are safe. But the next star lies in a town of monsters. What must that be like? There was a cool person sleeping in a bed in the castle. I wanted to see what her thick pajamas felt like, but she stirred just before I could touch them and I ran away. Mallow. You can't do this to me. Anyway, you can, you, you can make these puns, I guess. Let's learn about who we've seen so far. He fervently desires promotion and is desperate for his boss, Smithy, to like him. He's good at butting in to take cheap jabs at his colleagues. His fervent desire for promotion and desperation for Smithy's approval is unchanged, even as a duplicate. There isn't much to explain about a creature that has no form. You can still press the animations button. 
Whoop. Formless no more, but still without substance? Interesting. Its magic attacks are strong, so watch out. Drops royal syrup, apparently. When becoming a chow, a bluish-tinged gray canine's fur changes from bluish-tinged gray, making it stronger than a bluish-tinged gray canine. <laughs> Thank you. They wait for foes in the sinkholes of Lalan's End Desert. You can get a frog coin by stopping them on, on them in the field three times. They picked the name Octavator to seem cool. They're rivals with Octolots and always vattle when they meet. Their favorite fruit is bananas. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Apparently they're called geckets because they're geckos who are a little more with it, but no fashion statement stays in style forever. Apparently they have their own theme song called Beat It Bezo, which they seldom sing in front of others. If you manage to hear it, count yourself lucky. For most flora, a flower of a different color is still the same species, but for this monster, when its color changes, its name changes along with it. Judging by their looks, you'd think they delivered powerful venom. Instead, they turn their foes into scarecrows, which is so much worse. These seem to be called stingers because of their pointy barbs, but buzzers also have stingers, and stingers make buzzing sounds, so... The wishy-washy behavior they exhibit by attacking with leaf whips before blowing a sweet kiss is less carrot stick than carrot and stick. Sure. Frogogs name their children Ribites, but what do Ribites name their children? They don't appear in this game, so we may never know. <laughs> Thanks. Anytime the fourth wall is broken by the monster list, it is funny to me instantly for some reason. Crusher! Mute! You're looking for a star? I'll sell one for 400 coins, are you interested? <laughs> 400 coins worth of deleting the lizard. Belong Temple! For 100 coins, this shortcut will get you back to the surface. Nah. Do you want your fortune told? It'll cost 50 coins. See the three faces on the wall? Hit them in any order and you'll receive your fortune. I think the order matters, but I don't remember which orders are the correct orders to hit them in. If you proceed through the pipe next door, some tasty snacks are awaiting you in the future. There's like multiple results for this, so... Got a Yoshi card. The yellow tile will get you to the next room. Your fortune determines what room you'll run out. 
run or you'll whatever. If you're lucky, you'll run into Balome and Monstro Town will be just beyond him. Sorry, I'm not accepting visitors past my bedtime. That is the Balome one. I need to go back and like try other orders. I think they all, I think all roads lead to Balome, but there's like a bunch of inter... There are plenty of good things to look forward to. I think there's like... Several other rooms? I don't know how this works. Ah. This is the dog room. For dog. that too early. I hadn't actually used Gino's regular attack yet with the new weapon until then. I won't try this forever, because I just do not remember the correct order that I'm looking for here. They'll be very happy with what you find. I don't think any of these are right unless it was translated differently, but I don't remember what message I'm even looking for, so... I wish it was just one coin. You know, it's also possible that there are multiple second rooms. I'm so hungry, wish I had something to eat. I think I'm not accepting visitors is the Balome one, so I don't think this one is. No, this is Balome. Never mind. So I'm not accepting visitors past my bedtime is in fact what I'm looking for then, I believe. Hello, Formless. Thank you. 
This is a very weird area. I think it was left, right, middle for that I hit first, which is the one that I'm looking for. Yeah. Wow, I can get multiple Yoshi cookies for only 50 coins each. Wow. That's a bad bargain. That's a terrible deal. Is this random then? So, uh, hmm. I, hmm. I only have so much money. <laughs> Oh, maybe I don't need to keep exiting. You'll have many friends in the future. That's a different one. No, it's the same one. Nine HP, huh? Wait. Yeah, that's right. I didn't know you could gain that much HP at once. Dang it. That was not what I meant to do. I meant to press X more. I'm being foiled by my own choice of settings. Still. Sometimes. I'm not sure it's random in 
the every time I enter this room sort of way. Well, I got something right and then screwed it up by thinking that I got it wrong. The other, the other option is fun prizes and items and stuff of some sort that I wanted to get. Is the thing. Well, whatever. It's not like a major deal. It's like flower tabs and stuff like that, probably. Hmm, you look so tasty, I think I'll just have a snack! Paloma's back, by the way. I'm also happiest when I'm eating. It said you were vulnerable to fear and poison, so... I don't know if you can have both at once. Sorry, I need to do this again, because I actually need to, like, pay attention to your weaknesses. Fear, poison, mute. Okay. I never forget a taste. In fact, after just one slip, I can clone someone. Watch. You all look delicious, but how do you taste? Ah, sour. There we are. Mario clone. Dot, dot, dot. Fight Mario with Mario. Yeah. I remember every party member having a thought peek and all that. We might miss some of those. Taste peachy. Of course. Oh, Peach died instantly. My bad. This is yummy! This is just gonna put me back to sleep. I'm trying to scam. Please. If you're targeting Mallow again, I'm gonna laugh. Okay, you didn't. Mom, Dad, where are you? Put everyone to sleep so much.
It is likely not practical to attempt to actually... Yeah, you're gonna clone Mallow again. This is not practical as a thing to try and do. Really? Stop it! Well, I guess it doesn't matter, really. How repulsive! My radiant, resplendent keep. Why is Bowser rolling his R's? As a clone. You can't switch to people who are asleep? That's possible. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Bowser couldn't for some reason. gonna get out of hand if I let it. Oh no, not again! I'm starving! Time to go home for dinner. Goodbye, boys and girls! Well, we missed the Gino clone, and we didn't get the scan of Peach or Gino. So. Hopefully we can address that with the, uh, the NPC what has, has that ability. Bloom is never explained. Bloom will never be explained. Bloom is slightly more explained by being visible in 3D. Last time we saw Bloom, you were like, this is a horrible creature, destroy him now. <laughs> Oh, hello again. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monstro Town. I'll see you there. Yay! I This is actually one of my favorite songs in the soundtrack. That's a safe point. Also, in one of, in my really old RPG, I made a hidden lobby area in it that was just Monstro Town, basically. Thanks for coming by. Oh, that's just the exit, right? I forgot. I don't know why I said that in the voice. Anyway, there's much to see. Let's look around. Feel free to rest here, the three musty fears. Yeah, all right. I don't remember where the items for this are. Nice to meet you, I'm Greeper. Hi, I'm Boo. And I'm Dry Bones. We are the three musty fears. He's sleeping. Oh, he sure is. Check those, check those bubbles coming out of his nose. Maybe he can still hear us while he's asleep. 
Hey, you, want, we want to play a round of Find the Flag. Right, we'll each hide a flag somewhere around the world. Yeah, find all three flags and you'll get an awesome prize. We'll go and hide the flags. See you when we get back. They'll be back. Thank you, Mushroom Lamp. I'm back. I hid my flag behind a wooden flower. I'm home. My flag's under a green bed. I'm back. You'll never get guess my spot. It's between O and A. Our flags are invisible, so search very carefully when you think you've found the spot. Farewell and good morning! I do actually know where all of these are. One of them is under Mario's bed. In the randomizer, you can perform this check instantly for a free item. Found a dry buttons flag. The next one is at the Rose Town sign. Reaper flag. And the last one is on Yoster Isle, I think. Yeah, it's... Because it says goal on the ground over here. Ta-da! Wow, fast travel makes that fast. You might be surprised by things being fast when they are fast. Possibly. It's quite surprising. I should have checked the item descriptions, though they're not super inspiring or anything, probably. Oh, there's an autosave here. Good job! You found all three flags! Hey, you're not half bad. He did pretty well! We had a great time, too. Thanks for playing our game! Now the grand prize giveaway! Farewell and good morning! Maybe I should start saying farewell and good morning at the end of streams, because I'm also a ghost, you see. Ghost Metal. Doubles defense during battle. They auto-equip it to Mario. I forgot about that. The safety ring guards against more than mortal blows. I'm pretty sure. As does- and the ghost metal does more too. Monstro Town is great. I love it. Yes, just a minute. I'll be there in a second. This Goomba didn't have a name before, by the way. Oh my! Goomhilde, what are you doing here? Bowser, it's been ages, hasn't it? Sorry about going AWOL on you. I ran away because I was scared to fight Smithy. A lot has happened since then, but look how far I've come. I'm managing this store now. And look, here are my little ones. Come on, show your manners and greet Uncle Bowser. Hi, Uncle Bowser! Although I can't fight for you, I still have some items you can use. Maybe you'll find it in your heart to forgive me if I can help you get equipped. Don't worry, I'm not angry with you. I've got new minions now and we're gonna reclaim my castle. You go on with your life here. I wish you the best. Thanks, Bowser. What can I get you? Bowser, secretly polite at times. Money is definitely way easier to get in this version of the game. Spiked Chomp. A studded ball and chain. Courage Shell. Upgrades for Bowser. We want to help too! Please, please, can we? They only have mushrooms. Recovers 30 HP. But... Right, they're weird mushrooms or something. I forget how that works. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that one. 
So the super jump is your specialty, right? These, those multiple jumps of yours are pretty amazing. I heard that your record for consecutive jumps stands at 12. How do you do it? Jump at least 30 times in a row and I'll give you a prize. I will never manage this. It's really weird. Sometimes I hear the guy next door. He's always mumbling about a crystal this and an evil that. Isn't that crystal some kind of shiny rock or something? I know I've seen those somewhere. You there! Rumor has it that you're quite an accomplished jumper! I may be outjumped, but you're totally outpumped! The strong silent type, eh? Don't you dig these vibes? Oh, you have to continue digging the vibes for a bit more. And that makes that fall over. Oh, the temple key. I couldn't have gotten to that thing that I found anyway, because you need the temple key, I think. Airflow setting, breeze, gust, or blast. <laughs> Monster Mama. Oh my, a traveler from afar. Welcome to Monstro Town, where many monsters mingle. I'm the landlady, Monster Mama. A star, you say? Oh, you're here to see our star. She's upstairs, so feel free to go and take a look for yourself. I've been all around the world, but the strangest person I met is this old geezer in Rose Town. He really is weird, but definitely worth meeting. Sometimes if you jump at the right places, a treasure box will pop out of thin air. Anything like this happen to you? Treasure boxes are known as hidden treasures because they appear out of nowhere. You think I found them all, but you still have 27 hidden treasures left. That's their star. And now we can do the final music in music zone, if we so wish. So what do you think? Isn't our star adorable? She's so talented too. Folks come to see her from afar. Starbees? Oh, star piece! Nope, not familiar with them. So you came all the way out here to search for a star piece? It must be really important. This is the last place on land. If you can't find it here, the only place left is up. So you want to go there? Ha! Ah, you're an open book. Here's what you need to do. There's a secret passage to the sky at Bean Valley. First, you must scale the cliff beyond the desert to go get there. Since you're such a nice guy, I'll introduce you to someone that can help you. Paratroopers, I need you! What was our flying time, troops? 8.52 seconds, Sergeant! Paratroopers reporting for duty, ma'am! We're 0.52 seconds late. I hold myself personally accountable for the delay, ma'am! Still as rigid as ever about your rules and regulations. No need to bother with the protocol around me, Sergeant. I've got a favor to ask of you. Yes, ma'am. Anything we can do for a civilian? This fellow here really wants to get to Bean Valley. Could you help him scale the cliff? Understood, ma'am. The orders are get mustache over the cliff. We will succeed. We will now deploy ourselves to the cliff at Land's End. Paratroopers, keep a tight formation. We have liftoff. They're odd, but trustworthy. Good luck with your search. I think you can do cool X now. Asterisk. You can try. And also there's Jinx. There's like two, there's like four optional bosses in Monstro Town that I think we can all try right now. Who is it? Sorry, but the sensei isn't in. Oh my gosh. Jagger. Bowser, I haven't seen you for so long. I've been studying here at the dojo under the Sensei Jinx because, to tell you the truth, I I knew I couldn't beat Smithy. That's why I'm here now. Someday I'm going to return and make you proud. Don't worry about me. I've got new minions now and we're going to take back my castle. <laughs> you stick to your guns. Train like there's no tomorrow. 
My sensei is out right now, but he'll be back shortly. In the meantime, will you accept the challenge from me? Sure. Great, you know I'm not gonna make it easy for you, right? You say that, but you have the music of a regular enemy. I'm so excited my blood is boiling! And you, you also miss. Yikes, you're tough! Yikes, I guess that was to be expected. Mario, you're a top-notch fighter. You did well for your inexperience, Jagger. Sensei, have you been here all along? Hmm, you felt my key, didn't you? Not bad for a novice. It's weird to see Jinx. Your fighting style, it isn't as foolproof as you think. I'll accept a challenge any day. You wish to challenge me? All right, let's see what you're capable of. Whoa. That absolutely is a description of Jinx that is accurate. You don't have the experience to beat me! I forgot I had a new weapon. You simply amazing. I guess I underestimated you. You packed quite a punch. Yeah, the screen flashing is it's not as bad as it used to be. It's only a it's only like a slight flash, but it's not great. But don't let it go to your head because I let you have that round. Let's have a rematch. You wish to challenge me? All right, you asked for it. And no crying if you get hurt. Sympathy, not for me. You definitely can't like Geno World Jinx. Some of those had attack names before. Okay, I mean you can't like. Ugh. So yeah, some of this might not be doable right now, per se.
And this is only like Jinx 2. There's Jinx 3 as well, I think. I didn't see how much that did because I was trying to close my eyes. Spare us all because it's a pair. Oh, you're right. You're correct. I think I pressed that too early. No. That one's pretty generous. Six. was the critical hit. And it also does a big screen flash that's... At least there's only one of them. Amazing! That was only Jinx 2. <laughs> Still haven't had enough? It isn't often I have someone this competitive to spar with. Alright, this match will be the one that counts since I'm placing my reputation on the line. Do you think we can manage Jinx 3 right now? Watch closely, Jagger. You're about to see our sensei in action. I'm guessing no. <laughs> One thousand. I've committed your every move to memory. Mario gets obliterated instantaneously. It's fine. What combination am I thinking? Not that one, but that would be helpful. Maybe I'll just do that one. I will skip them occasionally. Self-therapy! I am missed. Two. Great.
Why do you only take two? That's very rude. Subtractive defense. Hmm. Maybe. I don't think I got the... Yeah, I didn't get the good timing. What if I summon Yoshi, huh? No. <laughs> Yoshi Candy. Forgot about that. I could theoretically win, but I will be here all day. I also don't know if Geno Boost has stayed after death. I have no idea. This is a waste of resources more than anything. Let's me keep doing it. But I don't know if that is indicating anything about if I still have it or not.
now we're getting somewhere. Except you, you just used Valor up, so now you have more defense. So now we're getting less anywhere. Right, that's the instant death move, but Mario has prevent instant death on. Aha. Take that, why don't you? Aha. Take two damage, why don't you? Ow. Aha! Aha! Ha <laughs> I missed. But so did you. Oh wow, the music dims for that. That's pretty good. I'm going to assume that Geno Boost does not persist after death. I don't have evidence for this because it's not well indicated. There's no icons indicating presence of a buff or anything of that nature. Stop killing my guys. Please. It'd make me sad. Blocked it. If I do win this, this is gonna be like the most I'm not supposed to have won victory, which will make it even better. Hmm, I'm wondering if it'd be smart to like do this. That's a little bit more damage. Ow. Probably just safer to keep this party here. Oh, I forgot you boost your attack also. That's funny for me. Yeah, I forgot Jinx did that. that that's a bit of an issue for me.
Still, it was fun to have made a valiant effort. I'm curious. One ninety three left. Simply amazing! Yeah! Early Jinx 3 defeat. Oh, you are the stronger champion, no doubt about it! You know what? Fair. You are the stronger champion, no doubt about it! Wow, incredible! My reputation was staked on this last fight, so I lost the title of Sensei. From today, you are the sensei of this dojo. Are you going for destroying? Well, to the stars. <laughs> the truth is out there. That is Don Ben over there. They self-destructed. Oh no! Destroy! Don Ben exploded! Rip to Don Ben, I guess. <laughs> he Don Ben himself from the planet. Please take this belt, which only the highest ranking fighter in the dojo can wear. Get the Jinx belt. Got the Jinx belt. We will rename the dojo Mario Style Dojo and incorporate your jump technique into the training. Jagger and I will start our training immediately. 1000 warm up jumps. Ready, begin! It's weirdly difficult to jump on them. There we go. Mario Sensei, the new regimen will strengthen us, right? Master, share your wisdom with us. So the Jinx badge, or Jinx belt. Emblem of power. Wow, that, look at that boost. That's a mini boost. I don't know what, what that voice was about. Um, who gets this? It's funniest if I give it to Peach, but not a good idea. <laughs> mm. I mean, like, these three are the premier party, truthfully. Simply because of their abilities of buffing and healing, so... I am proud of myself for doing that. Let's not quit while we're ahead and see what happens if I go over here. It's been sealed. Look, the shiny stone is reacting. The seal has been broken. I bet Kulex will destroy me. But it'd be funny. I bet. I also want to just see what this looks like. Yes! 
I knew he was still a sprite, but still. Greetings. I am Culex, Dark Knight of Vanda. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. You who stand before me, where does your depth come from? Why are you rendered so three-dimensionally? Evil power that gave me life mapped out this flat plane as my form. You are formed from a power unknown to me. I wish to gain the secret of your three-dimensional world. This is similar to the Japanese speech. They kind of mixed the two together. You will enter combat against me. Yes. And guard! Yes, it's still just the... It's just this version of the song, too. It's just the Super Nintendo one. That's great. All right, let's take a look at this guy. I feel a bit out of place. I am matter. I am antimatter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time and I will consume you. Crystals. Now, Culex is almost certainly gonna, like, blow my brains out, so I don't remember which crystal is a good one to fight first. Man, that is no damage. Hey, you think any of them are poisonable or scarable? I doubt it. Well, that kind of worked. That's not bad. Hey, we haven't seen this move yet! That's just flair, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay. Farewell. Farewell, world. Get deleted. Uh, oh, you auto switch in. They have to kill your whole team. That's like a something, you know. Got a freebie. Why am I trying? This is not winnable. We get to see a bunch of attacks before we're supposed to, though. That's funny. We get to see what a game over looks like. That's funny. They don't tell you what Shredder does still! Yay! Shredder is still nonsense mystery! This makes me unreasonably happy because it's very funny to me. It's not as good of an animation though. Same description, as in no description. <laughs> Great. I love it. Exactly. Perfect. No notes. Maybe it has a description if it does remove something. To be fair. By the way, Flare used to be called Corona. Also, it slows the game down. Also, we're dead. Game over. Raise your level. Defeating lots of enemies will give you le level up, you, you, you dingus. What are you trying to do fighting the super boss halfway through the game? Jeez. Well, not halfway. So yeah, maybe not Kulex right now. Yeah, it still does the music slow down. I should buy these. <laughs> I'm gonna consider defeating Jinx to be a good enough victory for now. Also, this stream has been six and a half hours long, so I'm gonna consider that enough stream for now, probably. 
Thank you for watching me play Super Mario RPG the remake. I still love it. I love Mario RPG. It's great. And I had a great time today. I said at the start of the stream I wasn't sure. It was like an it was an entire hour? No way. No way that was a whole hour. I don't believe that. I'll have to double check. Maybe it was. But yeah. I said at the start of the stream I don't I didn't know how well I was feeling. Oop. But I think playing this game makes me feel better, so that's good. So thank you all for watching. As usual, the various links are below the stream and at borealrobin.card with two rs.co. And you can follow and subscribe and all that stuff, but you don't have to. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and or night. I'll see you next stream. Farewell and good morning. As the three musty fears would say. Because I'm ghosts.